Sorry, it's me. <laughs> Dang. I feel pretty rich right now. I feel very wealthy sitting in this seat. That's where the money is. That's where the money is. That's that that seat has great. money. This Split that thing open and see if he has money stuffed in yeah, there. Is there. This seat feels much more firm than the others. Interesting. It has to be. Hey, everybody. Are you in your comfort zone? Nope. I'm well, why don't you apologize? Yeah, I'm sorry, everyone. There we go. I'm sweating. <laughs> there she is. I am sweating. <laughs> All right. I uh, I sat here in hopes that there would be some split between us so we don't look exactly alike again. <laughs> uh, but here we are again, Kate. Wearing hats and our uh, glasses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's rough. I guess I guess this is what it is still. Yeah, we have the same hair color, too. <laughs> the same color. We just look exactly alike, and I yeah. can't get over it. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, too. Oh. <laughs> I, also, oh, I feel confident. bad for that as well. Nick does very well. He's very handsome. Yeah. Well... Hot news of the day, mm. the person here who got the most Valentine's romance of all of us last night, KB. Mm. Oh, oh yes. yes. Out on the streets. Yeah. What, what a guy. <laughs> How did this happen? I was walking down my block, mm -hmm. and he approached out of nowhere and just whistled. <laughs> it was like a, you know, I can't do it, but <laughs> KB real quick in like a whispering tone as if we were just hanging out for 10 minutes mm -hmm. and he pulled out his wallet he didn't say any other words he pulled out his wallet i think it was a lacoste fitzgerald <laughs> and nestled right in there with the same like comfort and familiarity as a crisp 20 or a crumbled one was the kiss coin was the yak coin and what season uh I, I just saw that it what it was and you know it was game over and uh season twos mean a little bit less like uh well, it's, a, it's a two. Yeah. Oh, do yeah, a nice a slow scroll up for this one yeah, maybe like season one a video we did a multiple pictures <laughs> while our respective girlfriends looked on in horror <laughs> um and was there was there a yeah, lip he touch? was smooth with it yeah, yeah. why are you he, like he was yeah broken him so hard <laughs> uh, that's just how i hold <laughs> yeah <laughs> something ah. yeah other than that, it was pretty, I mean, I was not as awkward as you would think. It was just a nice transaction. How'd you explain oh, it to, um, like, uh, your guys' girlfriend? It's KB. She was, uh, his girlfriend was w worse off because he <laughs> initiated it and she had no idea. Mm. <laughs> Mine wasn't surprised. So does she even know that, like, you spent $55 <laughs> on a coin on the off chance you see a yeah. sky? And he has yeah. it on him and all he, the time. You carry oh, it with dude. you all the time? <laughs> the way it was just nestled in there, like, he had to put it in there that night before he went out, expecting that to happen. <laughs> he was he's he's New York. Do you think he's seen you around the block? Are you concerned he knew where you would be? No, no. He wasn't, like, weird or pushy about it. Yeah. He was getting like, he, he had to do it. He had to check it off, and then he got moving. Yeah. No was small, no small was talk. So no was small was talk. rightfully his. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He just kept it pushing. Yeah. So did you have to talk about that with your significant other afterwards? Like, yeah, that's a thing that's probably going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She didn't know what the bit was, but she was not shocked that I did that. <laughs> uh, he just had to kiss. I have guy. a tendency of giving too much d during those like interactions. interactions. <laughs> that is tough to b to have uh, boundaries, but also like give people what they want. Well, they these ain't conversation coins <laughs> mm -hmm. at all. Are we gonna just keep making them? Like, are we gonna print more and dilute them and print more and dilute them? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How many are on the streets? A thousand? I think a thousand. I think more. Thousand. I feel like I see a lot of season twos or season. What is it? Season seven? The there second was, run. Yeah, the second run. I see those run. more often than I see the first one. I've Jay, only do you know how many is on the streets? Times. I think it's like two fifty of the first and five hundred of the second, maybe. Okay. Oh, they Still sell out a lot. Like, they sell instantly. But there's only been two real like mouth to cheek connections. That's Che and your kiss, right? Yours was mouth to mouth, wasn't it? I think we yeah during the video, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just need to make if we do them again, they have to be way more convenient to bring out. Way, way more inconvenient. Less, way more yeah, inconvenient. The, a hubcap. A hubcap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a dinner plate so or like a, a chain, like a yolk. Yeah. 
just the yak season. What like a what season are we in? Thirteen. Car next. car bumper. When do we go to thirteen? We're in ten X right now. Oh, we're in season ten. Yeah, let's do the season ten kettlebell. <laughs> yeah. Kiss kettlebell. <laughs> That's a great, great idea. How about everybody else? Rowan, you had a fancy dinner last night. Very nice. It looked very nice. It was very nice. Thank you for noticing. It was um, it was lovely. What did you beef, have? Beef Wellington. Mm. Um, some gnocchi beforehand. Mm. You guys fuck with gnocchi? My favorite of the pasta. Very good. It's my favorite very pasta good. too. I don't and believe then, I've ever had it. And then uh, never had gnocchi. I was shocked to learn it's potatoes. Order some right now, yeah. Brandon. I got you, Brandon. Gnocchi? Yeah. yeah. Esto or red? Make. Let's force Chris Clemmer to eat some. Oh, Chris Clemmer can't eat any food that's stuffed in another food. Can't do burritos, can't do empanadas, can't do rigatoni, can't wait, do wait, any food mean? that makes him vomit. It's completely <laughs> taste in another food. Taste in another can't food. eat any yeah. pocketed m- food. That's is there a name for that, or is he the only person? He, and he talks planet? about it with there's such there's an attitude. There's, there's like a, that's how it should be for everyone. Yeah, make a hot such pocket? a dickhead about it. Too. Yeah, he's yeah. a dickhead about it. Huh. That's kind of a dickheaded thing to have. Yeah. 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 I, oh, I can't eat pocketed foods. He said, like, if he has to eat a burrito, he'll have to rip it open. <laughs> what the hell? Like, it's like the superior of aversion. Well, can he eat, like, he does uh, treat it like that. Yeah. a jambalaya? I think yeah. he could, yeah. That's why, does he feel like a tick or something if he... No, I don't know. Like a, like a pie. Could he eat a pie? Yeah. Well, he couldn't I, eat one of the McDonald's pies. Yeah, not shepherd's a, no pie. turnovers. Hell um, no. He could eat a tur- yeah, he could eat a shepherd's pie, I think. There's not, no, a not, a not a pot. Not a pot. Not a pot. Well, damn. Yeah. That's no. He's a dickhead about it. Where should I get this gnocchi from? Serafina? Yeah. A Pecorina Bianca? That's the has the fastest delivery time. Let's get this gnocchi here stat. You a pesto guy, Brandon? Or do you want red sauce? I'd prefer red, I think. Mm. I'm going to get us a bunch. i get whatever Ron gets. I'm just going to get us a bunch of gnocchi, I think. Yeah. Could go for some Love gnocchi. That. Just pasta? I know what it is. It's I've seen it. It's little pasta balls. Little, yeah. But it's potatoes, I guess. Yeah, it's potato pasta. Dude, I, I was uh, at Pat Best's house on Monday, and uh, a couple, like two weeks beforehand, he had said like his chef made him gnocchi, and he, he thought it was disgusting, and he served it to his dog. And then on Monday, I saw his chef, and he was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'd made it for him four times before. <laughs> it always gets eaten, but it's just by his friends. He's serving it to the dogs. Is he going to catch on to a team or what? Yeah, just waiting uh, to get all the. Yeah, it's close to a team. I, th- I it's close to a team. I bet it'll happen. Who, who knows when it'll happen? Gotta cross the T's and dot the lowercase J's. My buddy and his roommates do gnocchi Tuesday, and they make gnocchi handmade. Make it? Yeah. Like in your. Like in his house, I've seen him make it. It's crazy. Yes, his friends are way more interesting than him. Yeah, they. Yeah. they are. And well, uh, well, it's just talented. one of them. He's like a. He's like a oh. cook. And he's he has like a he has like too, a right? roller. It's cool. They're a lot more educated. Roll one. More educated, mm-hmm. funnier, yeah. oh, they're more not worldly, educated. better ads. All of my friends dropped out. Really? There's like one that's still in college. Who do you think here has the best friends? Best group of friends? Ooh. Probably uh, Maresh. Well, it has to be it's everybody's like, friend. Oh, you got to pick your best five friends. Who has the best group of five friends? Top to bottom. Yeah. I, I have a real murderer's row. Yeah, Yours is good. Like Stinky Tony, Sweet good. Potato Pat, Rash. <laughs> <laughs> I have a real crew. I got a good. I got a good gang. Kyle's is well. Oh, I wouldn't bring my. I wouldn't. <laughs> my, I wouldn't put my. I wouldn't send my top five out to the wolves like that. They would, <laughs> they would get destroyed yeah. by any team. Mine are struggling yeah. too. I have a weak top five. <laughs> Kyle's the Kyle's the ringleader of his crew, yeah. too, which is the crazy it's, part. It's unbelievable seeing those guys. No, walk it's, into a bar, George, it's it's Ford and Marrero. Uh, oh. You haven't met him, but. Uh, yeah. But what? He's just never around. They cause really? trouble. You guys are trouble men. Then. I might be. Uh, I might be. I got five mics that'll go toe to toe with anybody. I got Dr. Ned Miller and Alan Brown, Matt Warren. Then I don't know who four and five are. Matt I might not Warren. go five deep. Uh, Matt, Matt Warren, Warren lies. Matt Warren, lie. we saw UFOs with him in '95. '95, October '95. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we were in his Nissan. He Brandon and Matt Warren mm-hmm. saw a UFO together '95. We're there. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. It was just right up there. Yeah. Oh, bro, there's a lot of pesto. I'll get Uncle Tony's homemade gnocchi. Oh God! Oh, Uncle Tony's. Oh my God. Yeah. Brandon, did you get your bonus? Five orders of it or what? Hmm? It's bonus day. What are you spending yours on? Don't fuck with me, Nick. What? Don't. F- huh? The fifteenth, yeah. brother. Yeah. They moved up. Happy holidays. Wait, they moved it. Is yep. it today or no? It's yeah. today. 
Okay. I'm gonna treat myself. I bought, I bought Aragorn's sword from Lord of the Rings. Oh hell one yeah! One for one replica. Well, that's why I'm getting all this fucking Fifty-four pounds. Milky. Oh, priority, yeah. What uh? Where's it from? Where'd you buy it from? Middle Earth, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a real sword? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to look at that for Tommy. <laughs> heavy or what? Yeah, it's heavy as fuck. I don't think it's fifty-four pounds. I think it's fifteen pounds, but it's fifty-four inches. The blade, not including the hilt. Should be pound per inch. Yeah, I guess if it was. You bought a sword. Don't even. All right, are we? I'm just saying you're you not helping yourself. You're, you're trying office? to. You're trying to get two hundred <laughs> knives. A sword. And that's counts. not going to help. No, it doesn't. You have like an AR-15 airsoft gun in the office. You got conned by an Instagram. <laughs> yeah. that doesn't work. It was probably the price work. of two swords. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> bootleg. They gave you the display model. It's did. In the, it's in yeah. the biggest suitcase you could ever see. Yeah. Ever. The Lucas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's none of my Harry Potter wands really worked, but they came with a postcard from the woman who's like the middleman, who it was her holding a baby. And she was like, if your wands don't work, don't be upset right away. I'm a new mom. Oh, yeah. I was like, okay, I guess so I'll just take this one. It was very nice of you. You gave one of the wands to my friend Josh that was oh, yeah. visiting, who has a Harry Potter sleeve. And she gave him one of the wands. But my, yeah. my buddy Josh's biggest downfall is that he's the dumbest person to ever live. Mm -hmm. And he's a cop. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> and a former Marine. Mm -hmm. ah. So bad in high school, bad guy, Harry Potter. Vibe sleep. with that. Oh for 3 on Varner. Yeah. He is jacked. Yeah. Oh, I said his full name. Um, <laughs> but is he, is he's in your, what, what position is he in your top five? Uh, whoo, he's fighting for one. Oh. He's fighting for oh. one? Uh -huh. He was lovely. That's strong. Yeah. Um, oh. oh, what is that? Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Oh my God, look at that! Nice. Thank you, Rowan. Let me, let me take it. But uh, Kate gave him one of those wands that shoot fire, and I put one in, and I shot it, Thrill. and then he put one in, and it the battery must have died, but yeah. that perplexed him too much, <laughs> and so he's fiddling around in the wand, and he's like, oh, here's why it's not working. And he rips out the wires. He's like, there's a fucking wire in here. <laughs> Dude, that's, you broke it. Yeah, that's <laughs> the whole point. He broke the one. And we were at dinner with him, and jo Kyle was so enamored by his Harry Potter obsession. And Josh goes, oh, well, Kyle asked how many wands he has. And, Ky yeah. and Josh answers, I have two fakes and three real. We're like, no, you have five fakes. <laughs> yeah, dude, what do you mean real? You don't have any real wands, what dude. What do you mean real <laughs> wands? <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Are any of you playing the game? Sass, you're a gamer. No, I don't, no, I don't play that stuff. <laughs> but I've heard it's fun. People seem to like it. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. yeah. It was real condescending. No, I just don't play, like, role-play games. I have I a cousin either. with a golden snitch tattooed on her butt. Yeah, <laughs> I could have guessed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna Is it easily caught? They have multiple cousins yeah, with yeah, golden yeah, snitch. No, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every game's ending pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get your bludgers out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to girl used to have a quaffle on her inner thigh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Brandon? Brandon? I just gave up on it. <laughs> no, go on. What's uh, I never saw Harry Potter or read it. I just I've not I never got in that universe. It's very good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Especially the book, I mean the books especially the books as better, someone, you love to read. I do love to read. So why um, not treat yourself for to just like the best journey of your life? I'm uh 40 pages uh away from finishing uh, the latest John Grisham novel. Mm. Uh, See, that's, that you, can't say, you can't say what you're reading because then you'll just get DMs of how the book ends. Do you happening. know what I do you know what I do though? Yeah, he he reads the end before he starts. I, I I read half the book and then I get to a point where like I got to know what happens to these people and I go to the last two pages and I read it. I find out what happens and then I go back and fill in the rest. Yep. We got to get you shorter books. So I know what happens, um, but I, I the journey getting there is fun. I don't like uh, suspense. I don't like suspense. No, I do that yeah. for movies. Matt Warren taught him that move. Well, that's Matt Warren doesn't really read as many books as no. he ought to. Mm. Well, why do you read suspense books? I don't read suspense books other than John Grisham. I only read John Grisham because he's from Mississippi. And I got into him when he was uh, younger and just starting out, and it just stuck with me. It's amazing that people from shitty states have such pride in the people that are from their state. I'll turn up Brad Paisley. I love Brad Paisley. Oh, all right. He's my favorite, uh, yeah. he's my favorite guy. I secretly have never listened to him. What's the song he sings? Fishing song? What's that? Uh, no, I can't name one. I'm gonna miss her. It was like, uh, oh, I'm gonna miss her. Yeah. Well, I don't think he really says it like that. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty good. I haven't even seen Big Fat Greek Wedding. 
Oh yeah. Is Brad the pa- pa- uh, no, 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 another guy from our hometown. Drum wheeling John Corbett. Oh, the Sex in the City guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that oh. either. Yeah. Didn't know he was West Virginia. But like people from cool places don't give a fuck. Right. Too much yeah, history. Probably from Philly. Okay, yeah. Too much history in New York. Like, uh, you just go through fucking neighborhoods. There's probably fucking, like, a famous person probably got assassinated there. Yeah. From a cool place. Mm. I like it. But there's not too much history. There's just enough history. Well, the history we have isn't great, so... Yeah. History really started, yeah, like, 1978. It's not... Who's the most famous person from Duxbury? Me. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, I don't know. Um, there was one dude that went... No... You. Was it? Oh, uh, Scott Woodruff from Stick Figure, the band. Oh yeah, yeah he's got you. Yeah, yeah, he's got you beat. I yeah, know, it might be you. No, he, they're pretty big. Stick Figure's pretty big now. Now they sell out six shows in Boston. They Is this Woodbury? Would like a theater or an arena. Ichabod Alden. Oh, Perry from Aerosmith. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, Joe. That guy Perry. doesn't even have a link. Joe Perry. It's not even clickable. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Stick figure's big. You chose um, a non-clickable man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe Perry lives like right next to my where I used to go to the orthodontist. He lives in like a weird area that you wouldn't expect him to live, but it's like all gated off. Why did you say Joe Perry? I forgot that he lived there. So I'm in a bookstore one time in Duxbury. Huh. Yeah. What was Ron, do you out? have a page? Oh, no. Ron's got to have a wiki. There's so many lesser people with pages. You have credits. Yeah. But who's gonna, uh, yeah? I don't think it's. I don't even think. I don't even know if Big Cat or Portnoy all. does. I think the Yak has. has a Wik- I, I love Wikipedia. Yeah. And I would it does and really does appreciate. Katie's like the executive producer. That's the IMDb. Oh, that's the IMDb. Yeah. Or KB's the director. Listen, or hey, I wouldn't mind one. <laughs> yeah. Is someone weird to make you one? Yeah. yeah. A really in depth one. But do, what do they have? To, what do they need? Uh, oh. The N word. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who oh. <laughs> was that? Who was that? Your guy? No, that was Dave. Oh. <laughs> Oh, damn, that was a head a whole section? <laughs> no, but it was, a, it was a clickable link. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. TJ, uh, why was that link purple? <laughs> <laughs> Curious. <laughs> oh, man. No idea what they were talking about. <laughs> Good shit. That sucks. I thought it was a header section. <laughs> Use and misuse of the N-word. Where are you? F- where Where are you technically from? Like, are you from where you grew up, or are you from where you were born? From where you grew up. Grew from up. where you grew up. Yeah, grew up. Yeah, makes sense. You were, yeah, you have a place you were born in and a place you're from. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. So, like, Curry isn't from Akron. Right. Correct. Yeah, you guys can just say. Oh, yes, but it's all, yeah, I, no, no. Say, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking it's all about where you rep. True. Right. I think it's where you went to school. Where is, so where's 21 Savage from? I, I don't know yeah. either answer. I don't. It's England. He was born in England, but he like he's an Atlanta rapper type of guy. When did he get to Atlanta? He right about. in the nick of time. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time. Does that bother people, though, that he's like an Atlanta guy when he's not? Or like, no, nobody cares. Uh, when it first came out, I think people were angry. Ah. Yeah, it was falsely, like three Super Bowls ago. Falsely angry three Super Bowls Each ago. seven. Seven, uh, seven. Seven's pretty it's in young. the first sentence too. Four Super Bowls. Does he have a British accent? No, no not at all. Not even close. <laughs> Sweep your chimney, governor. Woo, That'll be woo. funny if that w- what how he speaks is a British accent. Yeah. Harry, am I an eight? Buck beak. What do you know? Big British? three. Harry That's Potter. A- oh. Yeah. Little I nice. tried. So Corey uh, Rutledge got mad at me because uh, you were in it. I think you, you guys were in it, but we had we did that. Uh, fantasy island house or love island or whatever it was a, mm-hmm. at the house and all i was supposed to do was speak in a british accent and i, I couldn't do it i don't have that in my bag and we oh, sat yeah. there for 20 minutes him trying to make me say governor and uh, in yeah. it and i could good, not good do move it. not to so I, I did it uh, but i i, I can't do it. do it i didn't know it was a love island parody and i've never seen love island and so uh, Corey was like just okay just read this line in an accent i went full chinese <laughs> <laughs> How did it sound? <laughs> really good. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully that footage is very deleted. Hello, Rudy. Oh, Rudy, Rudy. wearing the tungsten I shirt. I him on. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, Rudy, yeah. rocking the tungsten. Sorry, uh, Kyle, call, Kyle told me to come on. Happy belated birthday. Thank it's you. Birthday. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, 
But yeah, also, yeah, new Tungsten merch. Oh. We finally got it. We, we're selling that, or you just bought that? We're selling that on Anus. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, that's going to do number. That's going to do number. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to This is going to sell the hardest unit to sell, which is one. One. No, yeah. Yeah. Dude, no, one isn't the hardest. I, um, I one is the hardest. I bet you it's like four. Four, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to sell. Because two, you could be mom and dad. Four, you have to have a couple people that are just like, I want this. We talked about uh, doing that. Doing what for a, whoever can get closest to four shirts sold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Weren't we trying yeah. to do like the lowest amount of shirts sold? Yeah. ZBT does that. I'm really good at that. <laughs> yeah. Really? They're like, congrats, guys. You got two hoodies sold this time. And we're like, yay. Uh, so shout out to your blood. You guys can you at least so guilt that. people. Yeah. 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 You don't have that luxury. A waitress gave me a fucking military discount. I felt so uncomfortable. Oh, just to be nice or she thought you were a vet? See, they, they like were supposed to give me an egg white omelet. And they gave me regular eggs. She wanted to take some off. So she she gave she was like, I'm throwing a military discount on here. But uh, yeah. that's stolen valor, right? You shouldn't have well, accepted that. I tried yeah, not to. She forced hmm. it down my throat. Hmm. She was also, she was a minority as well. So I didn't want to argue with her publicly. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a quandary. Oh, yeah. We oh. sold the tits. That was like oh. a one off joke we made. I'm not convinced anybody bought. There's no way. Oh, zero. Is that, you have to really, really wear that on your yeah. back. Is there, can we get the final number for merch on Trent's do rags? Do we know they how sold many? A lot. They sold, sold yeah. a lot. Of them. <laughs> I, a salesperson came up to me. They were like, thanks for like, there was an odd spike of do rag <laughs> sales on the store. That huge section of the warehouse full of do rags, finally. Empty I'd love to go to the the barstool warehouse and just see how how they're chefing things up. Like, yeah. where's it all coming from? Like, what's the process? Is it just boxes of fucking? Is bar there a barstool wine? warehouse, or is it just like a third party type thing? I don't know. It's all got to be coming from some kind of fulfillment center where it all happens yeah. together at once. Like, even just the section of the warehouse. Oh, I've been getting DMs from people who got the 2022 cake race shirts. Oh, they're still <laughs> sending those still out. Send those out. Um, they're unique. They're worth more. Some would say. Yeah, merch is tricky. It is. It's tricky. Mm. Do we have any uh, Travis submissions? Oh. Yeah, like most of them were not people named Travis. That's the one thing we need. Yeah. Right. right. Mm -hmm. um, but it was enough that I need like some time to go through them without doxing people. But there were some. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Can we just see one? Yeah, did any get you a little bit excited that um, you were like, oh. Yeah, let me find it. There was one that had pictures of... Uh, Travis and KB in them. You were with a Travis? Huh. Are you the one that brought up this contest? Because this is interesting now. Prohaska? You trying uh, to parasite a Travis into here? I, with him. I don't know. Who was it? Why do you keep doing that? Let me find it. Me someone yeah, someone texted Jesus. me one. What do you mean? Parasite like the movie. I got one from a guy named Tavis. You, you've said that. Wait, there's specific. a Tavis? Yeah, he can be in He's in. He's in. Choose a real name with smaller with a smaller universe. Tavis. Tavis. The, the world's funniest Tavis. <laughs> I know is. a Tavis. You know a Tavis. What? Yeah. Tavis Smiley? Tavis McMillan. He was one of my coaches at Denver. He called me to say happy birthday. Oh. Big yeah. dude. Tavis. Like a nice Tavis. Yeah, yeah it's great dude. Tavis McMillan. How Irish is he? Uh, whatever Irishness he may or may not have had is completely been eroded away by his Canadianness. Okay, mm -hmm. he is full, full Canadian. Yeah, to the core. He's got a new arm sleeve he just got. It's pretty metal. Big guy. Big guy. Big guy. Huge arms. Truck driver arms is what they call him. Is it a sleeve if it's anywhere other than your arm? You can get a leg sleeve. Is you, it a sleeve? Yeah. Like a pant? You, um, American hockey players who've never even played or lived in Canada, did they take on the Canadian accent? Big time. Yeah. Seems like it. Big time. It's amazing. Every yeah. hockey upon or just the same accepted? person. It's accepted, but I think that um once you like venture into the outside world, you have like a moment of realization that you've sort of like adopted a, a culture that really isn't quite your own. Yeah. Uh wit does that a little bit. Yeah. Wit has a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Buddy. Yeah, and it, it like going on, buddy. It gets I. <laughs> What's up, guy? Yeah, and it gets tricky with Boston too because it's like you're you're mixing like all three, like yeah. Boston dude, hockey, and then Canadian, and then like hockey and Canadian are so tethered. But I try to just like work that out of my vocab. But some of it is sick. Like the other day, I was talking about someone's hair, and I was like, "Oh, that guy's got sick lettuce," 
and it like froze the room. Was that just plays? I think lettuce we're like, what yeah. the fuck does Double. that mean? I think lettuce has has grown beyond hockey. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, it was Prohaska. That's true. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, what are you? What's up with your lips? What's going on, man? Those oh. are great lips. That was my first time ever drinking alcohol. It was at his party <laughs> junior year. Yeah. You guys look so great. Arch. Like, so yeah, I remember I w- in. wore that Penn State shirt. Wait, wait. Where, where are you? That's right him right there. Okay. Yeah. That's a rare style of backwards hat that died. The Damn, you got multiple hat. pictures oh, of yeah, he on top that. of the head. Uh-huh. That's like a Ryan Sheckler look. Yeah, the backwards. <laughs> it's like the backwards <laughs> yarmulke. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, he's funny oh, or, or just... What a n- no, he's a cool guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Travis, I mean, I don't know if you want to... <laughs> Bangs out of the backward. Woo. Oh. Oh, oh he grew up. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And he's on the right. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks, Travis. Yeah, you're you're welcome What's to join. Now? What's mm-hmm. his gig now? He's got to be a, a uh, he, liner. He definitely works with his hands. I think he got some type of engineering degree. I'll have to ask him. He well, looks like he, he looks works like with he gas. Like labor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he grew up. Big, big blue collar. As blue collar as you can get for Ohio County. Yeah, he looks like he shovels coal into an engine. Mm-hmm. I think the most blue collar of blue collar jobs is the guys who do the change outs on the oil rigs. Oh, yeah. yeah. That video yeah. that goes viral. It can't be an oh, actual man. goal no. that people have no. on a daily basis. And I know that guy intentionally gets a little <laughs> no. muck, mucked up. No. That can't be a real job. No. <laughs> that would be it's amazing. a real job. I go <laughs> and if down. it is, I don't know. They must be, they have to get paid a good amount of money. But, but I mean, how many times job. could you do that a day? Once, Go to the <laughs> yeah, dude, and they're yeah. covered in oil, <laughs> like soaked in oil. It's one of my biggest uh, tsunamis and oil rigs. These are my biggest. This guy, stretches. this yeah. is not a job. <laughs> this is not a real job. Like, how many times does he do this, this a day? How good he is. No one is doing this. Nobody's doing. It. <laughs> and how did they memorize these moves? Oh, dude. I think they call them rig pigs. I wanted to see somebody's first day on the job doing it. <laughs> dude, imagine also, dude, there. going no tarp is for sure an OSHA violation. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> dude. Yeah. Also, like, this system, like, have we not advanced far enough? This like, has to be automated. Yeah. I watch a lot of these. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the guy that went viral a couple days ago for cleaning the outside of the oil rig. Oh, what, uh, whoa, what's that, that one? I, what, this isn't the video. I've seen messier. There's a guy that's seen messier when it bubbles up and the it's offshore blown. rigs that are in the in the water. He has to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought you were talking about that guy. <laughs> this dude. I didn't even think about this job. Look at him. What? Yeah, I forgot about what ocean poles. Why is he using Why water if there's clean? water everywhere? Why? He's dying. <laughs> Why does that shit He's have to be dying. clean? Why does he have to clean that? Uh, you guys couldn't. You guys <laughs> couldn't put me in. I like low. Oh he spraying it with a hose. He's tied to it. Like Come something better. He's cleaning it with like, a fucking a power wash hair dryer. That oh is. Oh my uh, god. Way less sexy than the other one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Huh? How do you get into that? How do you get into that line of work? Oh my Dude, they make so much money. Do they? Uh, those a diver lot. guys. Yes. Yeah, but like, diver guys. Uh, that's a that's a that sucks. Oh yeah, the yeah. injury. You always that's read the cool. comments on those, and it's all other rig workers who are like, "Yep, that's how I lost eight of my toes. That's how I lost a leg. That's the life." Yeah. The one guy in the first video had like a big. A- he had like a chain on. Like, couldn't that just like rip his head off? Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like, yeah. There's no way he's just chilling like that. Are the guys that climb cell towers and replace those things? I have a buddy who got out of the Marines and like did a program. It was like troops to windmills or something. And now he always sends me pictures from the top. Does he make money? Of those, yes, he makes a ton of money. What's those? Do those people just they're well paying? Missing in yes. their brain, or they don't care if they die? I don't think he cares. He dies. He's a big drinker. He's having a great time. It's, I think uh, well, those guys die about once a brain. year. Yeah, they don't. They don't have like fear, a fear yeah, processing. They yeah, they don't have the necessary fear processing. It's almost like delays kind of. Skewed. But the more dangerous and miserable it is, it's almost like a bigger badge of honor. Yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or, what is the what is the one job? I don't even know what it is. The one where the they're I don't know if it's like something with like welding or something where they're they're like putting the thing out on the platform and then this thing comes down and it's like, <laughs> like stamp. Yeah. No. Oh, what is that? Fly find, everywhere. And it's like the loudest. <laughs> it's like, dude, working there must be fuck. Okay, do you know what I'm talking about, Brandon? Is it vaguely? Yeah. What is it? It's it's, it's something it's gets, hot, you're doing a hot torch and then you yeah. push it out and then it stamp it, 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 it makes it into sheets I believe. Well, yeah. I grew up but next it's like to the a steel loud, mill. Loud. It's and it's so big. Yeah, I grew up near a bunch of steel mills and it would literally like earthquake seismic shakes. You would hear it yeah. like in the middle of the night because they go all night and they'd be glowing and then like the house would shake when they would drop. Yeah. I don't know what they were doing in there. 
popular yeah. TikTok genre is them revealing their lunches, and they have the worst diets in the world. Mountain they love hot cheetahs. Yeah, yeah. Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. They, Who's uh, that? And they don't wash their hands beforehand. Um, no. Laborers. <laughs> All laborers. Like sandwiches <laughs> they bought. Yeah. yeah. I believe you get your ass kicked if you wash your hands. Do you? Beforehand. You can't. Yeah, like construction workers in the bodega in the morning, they get straight fucking jet fuel. It's like they a also like coffee. need calories in a way yeah. that we don't. Right, right. yes. Right. We're yeah. sitting. Oh my, the boys at the concrete plant would just eat popsicles all day. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds yeah, great. Rip oh, you always bring up the concrete plant. It is very true. You worked I at a can't concrete believe I plant. I did that. I was so out of place. <laughs> Wait, what did you do? They had me driving the front end loader with no training up this ramp to like pour the fucking concrete mix. And. <laughs> In the guy, they're such dickheads about it because I'm bad at it naturally, and I had no training, so I was like afraid for my life, like, like <laughs> uh, Papa wheeling on that thing, right. going down a ramp. <laughs> Wait, how did and the guys would just clown me like, "What? You never did this, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, very few people hey, have. Hey, city boy. <laughs> they call me a city boy because I lived in Kent, Ohio. And went to <laughs> how did you land? Like, how did you find that job? My boss would, uh, my grandpa owned it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's dead. Nepotism. Yeah, a a Nepo baby. Yeah. Uh. Nepo concrete baby. And yeah. they knew that and they hated me for it. Right. Definitely. Oh, yeah. And my sure. boss would drive his truck, I swear to God, from here to there pod room two go to the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> that was to shit he would piss in his office in the trash bags and i would have to take them out by the river and burn them burn the trash you burn your boss's piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, how would you burn his piss <laughs> You could piss just trash. piss on the trash, the trash bags. yeah was the talked about this before was the concrete plant right by the shit plant uh, very close. Oh, that had to have <laughs> reeked. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, the ship plant. Our ship plant in South Wheeling, it stunk up for like the, the entire mi- town. The mile on radius. hot days, wow. it would stink up the entire town. Dude, yeah. Denver, Denver's got the dog food. Uh, have you ever seen that? Oh, yeah. Dog on food plant I, or whatever? On I-70, if you drive by do- uh, on I-70, there's a dog food plant. If they're cooking up a fresh batch, the whole city oh, smells. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh. amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's very distinct. Buffalo's got the uh, that they do like Sierra Cheerios or something. The whole city just smells like Cheerios. That's, Fucking, yeah. that's nice. That's great. Yeah, yeah that's a good that's nice. one. Oh, it was in a concrete plant right next to a pool of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Cheerios factory sounds brutal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm more focused on the burning of the, of your grandfather's yeah. shit and piss in a plastic bag. Not my bag. grandpa's, yeah. His boss. His boss, His boss, excuse me. He was cool as yeah. fuck. Yeah, it probably had like an aerial photo of it and it looked like Ohio does now. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that's bad. Yeah, yeah that's cloud. real bad. Yeah, they're calling it the Chernobyl of Ohio. These yeah. ain't fucking storm clouds. Uh, <laughs> have you guys seen that? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. You yeah, haven't seen that? that? <laughs> the guy almost it's actually super fucked up. It's super fucked up, but the guy yeah. is so annoying that you're almost crazy. like, good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, that sounds bad, but yeah. I don't know where that would be, but it is the most like. Yeah, it's in. Oh, it's every. You can find that video everywhere. Yeah. You guys worried about that or the or the balloons or any of that shit? Or you guys no. just chilling? I would. I'm it'll chilling. be a cold day in hell before I fear a fucking balloon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that shit's in it. way scarier. I will never get in a hot air balloon. Oh, why are they wicker baskets? Why are they wicker? Yeah, that is the the strangest thing to me that people do that. Do you know there's during just no way of controlling them. World War Two, Japan sent like five thousand of them over here. Um. And they had bombs attached to them, and like 300 made it to the northwest, and one of them killed a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of, this is a downer, a scorpion, a bunch of kids out on a church picnic. Um, but yeah, so Japan used the jet stream to send a ton of bombs on balloons over here during World oh. War. Yeah, they wanted to start like forest fires and shit that would be like apocalyptic level. Instead, they're just crashing trains. Yeah. Yeah. I've been on a big World War II kick. I've been watching a ton of documentaries. Yeah. It's, it's like a good entry point for a dude that's like, yeah, I know history. Yeah. yeah. The most well yeah. documented. Uh-huh. Very well. Uh, there's a lot of good YouTubes about it, too. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. And you get one, then you got 10 more to watch. Yeah, exactly. It's I watched amazing. one the other night in Phoenix. I don't know why. It was about Hitler and Stalin and their, their clash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Stalin was, a, was a, a shifty motherfucker. Yeah. He was a real cunt, too. Yeah. He was shifty. I was just reading about Mussolini getting, uh, he got caught. And then they sent in Nazi paratroopers to break him out. And, like, that would kind of be a sick movie. We could probably never make it, but just, like, Mussolini no. getting saved by Nazis. Like, that does sound badass. Just they like called a- him uh, commandos. Yeah? Yeah, like the Nazi commandos. They were, like, the most brawlic dudes. This one dude was, like, the meanest one, fucking ruthless Nazi, was named Otto. 
Commando. He was a commando. Commando. Not enough Mondo. movies where the Nazis are the heroes. You know? That's right. I think that that would be a sick movie, but we just can't make it. It's like a, probably a sick story for the people involved if you take out the context historically. And Mussolini fucking... If any of those people could have killed had anyway. like a Hollywood level like movie production area, they could make like the craziest movies. Like if Al-Qaeda could put out a movie... <laughs> The fucking craziest <laughs> movie of all time. Like, what if it they could what if it rocked. their own movie? Yeah, what if it like was like if? like we got to separate the art from the artist, yeah. give it the Oscar? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. people kind of had to when when they finally got their phones and hit the gym. They were putting out fire TikToks. Were they? Yeah, dude. When they were in the gym. Of course. Like, what are they not cap? Like, we're like better at TikTok than them inherently. Like, oh, of course yeah. they're fucking yeah. nice at it, dude. Yeah. That they're probably crushing it. Yeah. It's probably incredible. And we're giving Oscars to fucking Roman Polanski and fucking Woody Allen and shit like that. It's like, they they deserve yeah. one. Reach. Isn't Roman Polanski? He got banned after the pianist, right? Prior. Kind of banned. Uh, yeah. He. I mean, he fled to France. Well, yeah, he was banned from the United States. Yeah. Yeah, banished. Well, they also said Mussolini. When they caught him, they killed. They killed his mistress too, and hung her upside down from the fucking. Oh, yeah, they, that was like a real town square beaten kind of death. Yeah, like why them. the why they it went this bitch like well, that? she knew what was it went going. medieval. What's she supposed to do? Yeah, they went old. Not they went old testament. You're right, on Mussolini. Died. Imagine then, like yeah. dating the girl, like being the next boyfriend to that girl, though. That you could do no wrong. Yeah, yeah. If, if her ex yeah. is Mussolini, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mussolini used to take me shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know why I made her spend. <laughs> you made her, yeah. I, I, I in, made my her head, in my head, in my head, she was. Fucking Mussolini used to take me out. <laughs> in my head, she was. Oh. Mussolini loved to dance with me. <laughs> <laughs> you never like dance. Uh, <laughs> used to go to the hookah bar. <laughs> <laughs> Mussolini. <laughs> oh my god! And then two days later, Hitler and his his bitch killed himself. They definitely saw the writing on the wall. You think that's our gnocchi out there? Oh. No, it's not enough. Oh. I got five. I got five servings of oh, it. Oh wow! Man. Oh yeah. You want me to talk about what? High noon. Yeah, we the have three today. The deliciousness oh. of of high noon hard seltzer, the best drink out there. Uh, we were in Phoenix last week, and there were high noon for high noons for days. Wherever we were, yes, there were high noons everywhere. The barstool bar, everywhere. It flowed like fondue. Right. It was they, heaven. They certainly did. It's it a heart. Like, hmm? No, go ahead. It's a hard seltzer made with real vodka, real juice, and sparkling water. It's actually made with vodka, not with malt like those other oh. son of a bitches hard seltzers. Yeah, tra I call them trash seltzers. Yeah, I don't even talk I about them. I hate to even I won't talk even about them. Bring them up. They have big cans now of uh, peach and pineapple available. Uh, my favorite flavor is the peach. I also like the lime a lot. Ooh, well, watermelon too. I hate I watermelon. watermelon. I hate watermelon the fruit, but I love the high noon watermelon flavor. I don't know why. Oh. It's weird. It's only 100 calories, gluten-free, no added sugar. Their full-time flavors are pineapple, black cherry, watermelon, grapefruit, lime, peach, mango, passion fruit, and lemon. And if you find the lemon edition flavors like pear and cranberry, you buy the tailgate pack, or you can get the pool pack, you get the kiwi and the guava. Look for High Noon on Drizzly or at your local convenience or liquor store. Visit HighNoonSpirits.com to find it near you, or probably just go to a bar, because your local bar probably has High yeah, Noon, and it's probably delicious, everywhere. and it's probably fantastic. Hell yeah. I would love to know the amount of high noons we took down that whole week. It was a lot. Biblical. Yeah. Biblical. Deep-seated hatred for watermelon? <laughs> I, I hate watermelon. Really? It's, it's my least favorite not, It's not strong enough uh, of a flavor. It's a st very strong flavor. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, I That's think it's I like real it. mellow. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that consistency, you don't fuck with it? I don't like watermelon. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, it's man. red. It's, it looks bloody. I don't like anything about watermelon. I hate watermelon. Okay, jam, dude. You like rare steak, though. Love you like literal blood, right. not things that remind not. you of blood. I don't like watermelon, and it's it's not a. I, I, just, I don't like it either. I'm in the same boat. I just mm. want to give you a hard oh, time. Oh, I love. I see cold when you're hungover. Okay, it can get yeah. soggy, which is gross. Yeah, when it gets grainy, kind of that's bad. You ever had you it get with a good one? Kind of wish it was powder? summer right now. So I wish yes. it was. Yes. Water. I wish Sixty-two it was out. No, but I wish. Like I got in that trouble last week for the dinner. Last year when I got in trouble, I sent him two Smith County watermelons uh, to to his place, and he loved them, and then I got out of trouble. Mm -hmm. So I wish I could do that. I wish I should probably just keep 10 watermelons. It's funny you. that you just regularly get into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for leaving a dinner early. But I, That wasn't overblown or anything like that's that. That's why I need to is there, What is Smith County? Uh, it's um, – <laughs> it's in the middle. It's in the central part of Mississippi, central southern part. Texas has some shit called, like, Death Smith County. We also have uh, not all of our counties are, are greatly named. We have Jefferson Davis. Counties County. suck names. 
Um, how many counties are in West Virginia? Probably a lot that are also in Mississippi. I bet you Calhoun is. We have Calhoun County, yep. Oh, that was easy. Where's Chickasaw County? I like that name. Oh, it's right by, it's it's right up northwest of my town. We have a Wyoming County. I'm from Clay County. Yeah. Henry Clay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Hmm? 82 counties in Mississippi. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah, I sporkle it most days. Counties get smaller as things went west, right? Bigger. Bigger. Oh, that's Bigger, what, yeah, I, yeah, I, I meant no. to say the exact opposite there. Yeah, right. Oopsies. Or gigantic. Where's the biggest county? Is it one in like uh, Eastern California or um, Montana? Who should we guess? Nevada, Nevada has like Nevada I think Nye has, County. Nevada is pretty fucking big. Yeah. Nevada has like five counties. They're huge. Big ass state. Yeah. Big ass state. Wonder. You think they if they renamed Jefferson Davis's county, you could get it? Brandon Walker County or just Walker County? So we don't have a Walker that County. That seems like a lateral step. <laughs> <laughs> right. Going backwards. And There's a city. There's Brandon, Mississippi. And yeah, Florida. Walker County. Okay. We can work on that. Brandon was a, a wrestling powerhouse in Tampa, Florida. Were they? Huh. Yep. Counties, man. B- they're boring. Counties are boring. Yeah. A lot of shit goes down in counties, though. Yeah, everything. Yeah. What do you mean? Love a little township meeting. Well, it's county like, governments are uh, uh, always a lot loose, more loosely defined than than city government, and just in the small towns, you really get away. You get some characters in county government. Yeah, Nebraska has so many counties that have less than a thousand people total. Nebraska's counties are all like tiny and square. They're all the same thing, right? Iowa is almost perfectly gridded, except for one. Which one? Yeah, one of the northeast. Yeah, who's the one? Hey, don't want to see it. Yeah, look at the one in the northeast, right? Yeah. Infuriating. Iowa's sneaky big. Yeah, like it has a small shape, but it's a big yeah. state. It's twenty. I gotta go. A small shape. It's, yeah, it's a sm- it's a small shape. Yeah, it looks like it should be small. Slim, thick. But it's uh, it's twenty third in size in the United States. That's small. My mom's whole family's from. Canada, I thought it would be Iowa. Like mm. They're all veterinarians out there. I hate Iowa. I want to go. They're all oh, veterinarians. That, yeah. That, What's the one that fucked? Oh, bottom, bottom right? right. Bottom right fucked it all no, up. No, I think it's oh, there's a couple no, there. It's top, oh. it's top middle. I mean the whole right. Guy. Oh, what Dude. the fuck's it What's doing? What's yeah, doing? That sucks. No, I think it's also a. It's almost a perfect square square number, like a hundred. That's Three. that's. Infuriating. I like those counties. Why did they get double the size? Why did they get that? Wait, there's a Sac City, Sac City, Iowa. But look at Pottawatomie at the bottom left. My bet says that's like the, the same size as Kasuth. Yeah, not a big deal. That it's just Sac. Yeah, there's 99 Sac-C? total counties. If they divided that one like it should be, it'd be a hundred. But Pottawatomie could be school, chopped sure. in half too. Yeah, you could easily chop Pottawatomie. If you're in Sac City, send me a shirt. <laughs> a Sac City Sac- shirt? Yeah. How does it spell? S A C. A lot of geodes in Iowa. Was there it Sacramento it City or something? Yeah, Danny McBride fucks with those geodes. Yeah, you can just like go. Oh, there's Calhoun the and Webster. And they're they're actually next door to each other in Mississippi too. That's weird. Hmm. I love. Uh, oh. Wait, there's just an Iowa County. That doesn't seem right. Why? There's Iowa Iowa's County, city. Iowa. Yeah. yeah. That's all we do, bro. They got a Delaware. Delaware County. They got a Delco. Yo. Oh, they got a <laughs> Delco, Iowa, Ron. Yo, what the fuck? Huh. What's the name uh, between Wayne and Davis on the bottom? Is that Appanoose? Yeah. <clears throat> I like funny names, too. Yeah, you were attracted to the noose one, though. I hate that uh, so, mm. many, so many cities and places in uh, the United States is just new place that already existed. Like You have such a great opportunity. New York? New York. Because we That's hated the sweet-ass Native American names. Right. The Native American names were fire. But we, we wouldn't have like, been able to say that shit. Yeah, Long Island screws everybody up. Oh, yeah. Mamaronek and shit. Massapequa. Well, isn't Manhattan supposed to be Algonquin? It was initially yeah. Algonquin. That's fire. Milwaukee yeah. is Algonquin for the good land. Mm-hmm. Wisconsin has some cool-ass names. Intro. Talk to me. <laughs> um, Sheboygan? Yeah, that's yeah I love those Nosha? names. Yeah, Sheboygan. That sounds like I mean, from Pennsylvania from is, is from rife with them. They're the worst. Aliquippa? They have the worst names. Uh, you know about Aliquippa? Punxsutawney? You know, Punxsutawney is incredible. How are these the worst? Don't they have Jersey Shore? They have Indiana, Jersey Shore, California, yeah. Wyoming. About the Native American Indiana. names. Yeah, there's yeah. like Ireland, Scotland, all this bullshit. Mm. Mm. Northumberland. Mm. That's cool. Has the most letters of any county name, Pennsylvania. Really? Yeah. In Pennsylvania or any? Well, it can't be any. That's not that many letters. Any? Not really. Not hundred percent on that. Huh? They got the most of something somewhere. What's the longest word y'all know? 
Uh, Mono ultra microscopic silicon volcano coniosis. That's like, that's one of like the top ten, I think. I think mine's like spontaneous. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not sure what the other one was. That that's Brandon. Brandon. When I was a kid, I memorized the dinosaur named Pachycephalosaurus, and I used to drop it on other kids. They'd be like, "What's your favorite dinosaur?" And I'd be like, "Oh." Pachycephalus. I would have hated like you. I was, yeah. Oh, yeah. As an adult and you yeah. were a kid, I would have hated you. I was very, yeah, very annoying. <laughs> I'd always go with that one. It's like this ugly dinosaur with a really hard head. It's hideous, and I would pretend that. Oh, that is it the one with like, like it's like they would headbutt yes, each other? Yes, it's the headbutt one. Those were cool dinos. They were. Sac City, where spirit flows. <laughs> Where's that, Iowa? Yeah. Sounds awesome. That's Hackensack keeps trying to rebrand themselves as the SAC huh. in New Jersey. That's so new. That's so New Jersey. They're like move to the sack. Yeah, I think this place is nice. Which place? We all came from the sack. Yo, what the? It's crazy to think about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The like, egg. We really Gross to were think in about. there. Yeah. We were in the sack. We were in the egg. Mm-hmm. We linked up with ourselves. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. One minute away on these goddamn gnocchis. How do you want to do it? Should we just pass them around like a blunt? I want Brandon to eat all five <laughs> servings. Okay. I was thinking... Um, I want that too. Uh, last night, how many Twix I could get Brandon to eat if I had to get had him guess left or right. And I was like, said he was right for every single one. I think I could get you to eat 12 Twix. But does that mean two Twix bars per pack? Or I would buy like bar? I would buy like 30 packages of Twix and I would hand you one blind. You'd be blindfolded and you'd have to say left or right. And I would lie to you and say you're being correct. Yeah. I think I could get you to have 12. <laughs> 12, yeah. Damn. Not denying it. Even with this, no, I think you can get six right now. Right now, I think, yeah. I, yeah. You, <laughs> you think you at still some point I'd guess it. right. No, no, I'm saying you're... You would believe I'm, I'm that you're right. saying that you're right. Like, yeah, that was right. So oh. I would gas you up I'll enough. I thought you were going right. to say I was yeah. wrong so no, no, that no, I would no, keep no. going. No, I'd, I'd be like, let's see who can get the highest score in the office. Oh, I see, And yeah. if we were on here cheering him on, we'd yeah. be like, oh my God, he got another one right. Oh, yeah, you'd eat that. I bet you I could get you have to, Yeah, 12 is your number. Yeah. 12 would be easy, yeah. Yeah, that would be a win for you. Yeah. I I also love Twix. Who do you think we could get the highest in the office to? Well, Mince is gone. I think Billy I like, Football would do Billy a Football, bunch. I think, would have like 200 Twix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it would eat a lot. Hmm. Yeah, that's one of those ones you can have a lot of. That and I'm convinced that edamame doesn't like take up any space. I don't ever want to talk about edamame ever again. Why? Worst experience of my life. Why? I was at a, We went to a Chinese restaurant in Pittsburgh for Rediscovering America, uh, and I grabbed an edamame. And I was like, what the fuck? There's no beans in it. I grabbed an edamame husk from Fasoli's sucked bowl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. You gotta, the worst you, thing that's ever I, happened. I, bro, <laughs> you can't tell a sucked edamame? I just gra- grabbly blind it. I, I blind, <laughs> blindly grabbed it, tossed it in. I was like, what the fuck? Look it out of my mouth, and just he was looking at me smiling. Your Freshly amount of sucked. Fasoli stories to the ratio of times you've actually been with Fasoli in the it's, world is the no. I'm one. I'm with yeah. him a lot. Oh, you're with him a lot, yeah. but you have a ton. It's like you've been with him for thirty years. Yeah, he he just always he is my kryptonite. Yeah. It's prolific. Sully dunked on me and said my AirPods were fake. Like made a big scene out of it, laughed amongst others. Che, you have them, right? Oh yeah, I think they're my bag. Let's they're are they the they're real, what, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't have AirPods, but I... I he they says they're real. 100% fake. Is this the first chat we've had all, all day? What's up? I didn't know you were <laughs> back there. Yeah. Look yeah, so I humble. Think, I think in my backpack. Check after. Does it's it matter if you have fake fake uh, AirPods? It's Whatever bit, you... It's a bit embarrassing. Great. Did you get them from Amazon? From... Uh, Verizon store. Uh, I don't think it's embarrassing uh, at all. Yeah, I uh, think it's just... No, but the way he it. approached it, like he was... You know, trying to dunk on me about it. Do AirPods? And I have, think they're real. Do they? They're do definitely Air, real. Do and they're in an they're real? Yeah. They were in. They came in an Apple box. Like yeah, they're real. Oh yeah, then yeah. they're definitely from real. the store. Yeah, <laughs> that would be pretty crazy if if Verizon was like repackaging fake AirPods into <laughs> AirPods yeah. boxes. Yeah. Well, did you see the news from like people talking about Amazon products this week? No. Or like, there's so little oversight, and it's so huge that a ton of products that you think are name brand are actually just knockoffs, and like. It's gonna. They said it's gonna like become a huge problem in the news soon. Like that, they'll finally really start talking about it because 
everyone's getting so much fake shit that they think is. But do they wrap it in like the real packaging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. That happens a lot in the pro sports with like hockey sticks and cleats. Really? Yeah, because like certain athletes like a specific kind of cleat that isn't like made anymore, and they obviously yeah. want to push like the new cleat or the new hockey stick. So they'll give them the old one, but then wrap it in the newest skin, the newest like uh, decals, so it looks like the new one. But they're using different different uh, models. So yeah, Nike does that a lot with cleats. There's a specific Nike cleat that NFL players love that is discontinued in like 2014. And a lot of NFL players just buy them off eBay now. Huh. Yeah. But Nike just wants to keep that, that new swagger, that yeah. new drip going. Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah. Run on Nike watch. I, I would catch some Nakis in my mouth. <laughs> I would showcase my, that's like the perfect size thing to. It is. I guess the sauce though. Yeah, the sauce would be tricky. Yep. What was the point of the gnocchi? Why'd you guys want to get that? Um, uh, I've never had it. Gnocchi. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's right up your alley. Mad fattening. But what's it's Why? pretty much is it like a pierogi? Would you say? I, no. I don't know. Never had it. Oh, I love what's the, what's the difference? Pierogies are stuffed. Oh, it's like those um, are tortellini. One, are they? No, they're not stuffed. What? They're, what? they're gnocchi or solid? Yeah. Right. Oh. Oh. It's like a pasta. oh yeah. It's okay. Pure bread. It's pure. Dish. It's like yeah, the thick. It's like thick, thick. Uh, little balls. Pasta. They're like marble sized. Yeah. Potato pasta. Like the size of a ball bearing, in a NASCAR. Oh. Do they have ball bearings in their car somewhere? Almost certainly. They do have tungsten. They do. Yes, they do. You guys can tune into Fox at 2.30 Eastern on February 19th for the Daytona 500. Not the Daytona 400. Not the Daytona 300 or 200. This is the Daytona 500, guys. It's the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. <laughs> Daytona's 500 is considered the most prestigious and important race in NASCAR and has opened the NASCAR season every February since 1982. This year, Jimmy Johnson will make his NASCAR Cup Series return since 2020, and Travis Pastrana is attempting to qualify for the Daytona 500. It's the Daytona 500, 2.19, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Whole squad's excited to go. The whole so Spider was talking about it today. That's right. Spider's going to be there. Large Alex, Alex Bennett. Bennett. Yep. Um, Jordan? The whole big group's going. Know. I think the main girls are, are both going. Okay. Yeah. I think that. Odds are good. Odds are it's good. It's going to be a hoot. Uh, again, not the Daytona 1 or 2 or 3 right. or 4. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the Daytona 500. I think, I hope I have the track right. Daytona has a huge lake in the middle of it, and the world's longest jet ski ride was performed in that lake. I think Spider said he was going to fish in that lake, but he ah. said it the coolest way ever. He was talking to Large, and Spider said, let's wet some line. Oh, that's <laughs> oh yeah. Sick. Good. Yeah. Good I've never heard that. Yeah. Wet some line. Fishing, right? Yeah. Big yeah. fishing term. Wet some line. That's cool. I know. It's cool. I need to learn more terms. Yeah. You can also say it when getting pussy. Wet I some line. Give that to Rudy. Toss your worm out there. Get some line in. Get a line in. I say that a lot. Yeah, I don't. Toss my worm out there. Mm. Brandon, how was your Valentine's Day? Uh, uneventful. We didn't do anything. We had our Valentine's dinner last week. Uh, be Valentine's dinner. She did make me. Oh, this motherfucker! This bitch made me a uh, full rack of lamb. What? What? I had rack of lamb and pistachio sauce and uh, all kind of gourmet shit. She made me when I got home. Wow. Oh. It's delicious. Life just doesn't make sense. Man. No. Full ass. I mean, it had like eight of those little last stick night? sticks. Bones. You did that last night. I did. Doesn't sound uneventful. I thought you said you got five. No, they're good. They're good. I got five. Oh. I thought we were going to pass them around. Well, yeah. there's five out right now. Yeah, no, so that's we're great. Give them one. Oh. Brown, have your gnocchi. I'll let's get a little plate. We're just gonna pass them. Okay. You can't pass them around. That's are they all the same thing? Yeah. Then why are we going to pass them around? Because there's five of them and there's seven of us. Right. But You're being a little sassy right now, to be honest. Don't please take this gnocchi. Anybody else? Kyle? Yeah, let's get a, let's pl I'll let's go halvesies let's or get somebody. Oh, Clemmer will eat this. Yeah, he will. Yeah. But I don't know. Would Clemmer eat a Pop-Tart? Is that a oh, stuffed yeah. food? Oh, because it's processed, yeah. Yeah, that's a stuffed food. But hardly. That might be... It might. We might be able to expose the cracks in his theory if he would eat a Pop-Tart. Mm -hmm. What was his theory? He doesn't eat any... Anything encased Anything entirely encased. in another. Any stuffed food, really. Like a Hot Pocket or a burrito. 
Rowan, thank you. Come here. What? Come take half this. Right, yeah. That eliminates so many foods. It does. The best foods. Our pierogi. Raviolis. He doesn't eat ravioli, said. Not at all, he said. Oh, I love ravioli. Oh, these uh, are incredible. Uh, these taste like my grandma's. Bite. Just good pasta. Just good pasta? Oh, it's, it, it's what it is. It's, it's, it's good. Get a real cheesy piece. Get a real... Down that basil. Brandon, we should yeah, go to our yeah. bagged pasta place this week. I don't think it exists anymore. What? Spaghetti in a bag closed? Spaghetti spaghetti westerns or whatever, I think it closed. Oh, no. What do you mean spaghetti in a bag? They would serve it to you in a bag, and you'd eat it out of a bag. Uh, if it is open, I just I went there when it was closed. I went there well, when I was living at your dad's place. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to go because it's only about 15 streets up. And I went up there, and it was it was closed uh, that week. I think it's closed forever. That sucks. Yeah. It was the best bag spaghetti in the city. And not expensive. Yeah. Well, like you can't find that hard to find around spaghetti. here. You guys ever seen a bag of milk? They have that in Quebec. Wait, I just right saw here. a tweet about this, and I had no idea it was a thing. And it was like, the tweet was like, somebody come get your American. They cut the bag of milk wrong or something. And I was like, what is this? Yeah. What is that? They, in, in, uh, in Quebec, I'm sure they do it other places, they sell their milk their milk in bags, which I assume is where the term bag of milk comes from. But yeah, you got to cut it like right at the bottom corner, and then you put it in like a, a receptacle, and then it like shoots out the bottom. That's that seems like a ass. lot of work. Yeah, that seems really. It's bizarre. When I was yeah. in Quebec, I was flabbergasted. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. Well, can we see why milk comes in bags? They don't. Yeah, do I know plastic? the Africans do water in a bag. Yeah. You and I have the same TikTok. Yeah. Out. I watch the people make them live in the factory, and I donate, and then the ones who flex their water bags. Hell yeah. How do you do that? Flex flex kill, like this guy with Jordans on in like a village will like pour a little bit out to flex that he doesn't like totally need it. <laughs> 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 they're they're brutal in the comments. What do they say? <laughs> they always clown him. You barely put. You were getting nervous after that <laughs> first drop. <laughs> <laughs> so that's their version of making it rain. I don't understand that. I'm not Pierre Trudeau. Bagged milk. Yeah. Damn. Bizarre. Interesting. Wait, is this Trudeau a second Trudeau? It's spelled Spell different. Yeah. Trudiax. This, I I like the gnocchi. I have a warm feeling. Very, very good. Right now. Yeah. Eat it all. I, I think five. I'm going to use a different amount. A lot, but thank you. It was too yes, much. Yes, thank you. I know you just had to spend $6,000. Oh, yeah. On Super Bowl tickets. Yeah. Did you pay up already? Yeah, I'm not watching that fucking game again. Yeah. It feels terrible to even see the highlights. I can't watch a highlight of it. I you still feel terrible? Yeah, I can't watch a single highlight. I refuse to watch the uh, Broncos Seahawks any moment of it forever. You can't. You just have P PTSD. That was a blood. That was a terrible game. I, I forcibly f put myself to sleep. Like, uh, I just, like, blood bath. I turned it's it off so and, w and just went to sleep. Yeah. So, so, Roan, is a part of you hoping the Sixers don't make the finals just so you don't have that? Second place across the board. Uh, I want another chance. Okay. It wouldn't all be worth it, but it would be close to all being worth it if the Sixers win a championship. In that moment, it would feel almost all worth it. Right, like yeah, we finally I got one still after all the... To suck my dick and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, and also Roan is one of those people that I think embraces pain. He, uh, He's willing to go to a place of pain. I love it. Yeah. Because you understand that it, it means something for other people. If you're going to go down, you want other people to at least revel in your loss. There's no joy without pain. Facts, dude. I bet there is, though. No. What is it? So are you saying heaven's going to suck? That's what I, I've always thought that, actually. If some of your... It, does everyone go to heaven? No. Not you. No, that's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm telling you about this. Right. So <laughs> can heaven be perfect if all if all your bros aren't there? Like if just like someone's missing, maybe oh, they're yeah. perfect. Ah. I think that heaven might suck. Oh, so no, KB, that's on them. KB fucked with you enough. You he KB might be your ticket to heaven because heaven wouldn't be heaven for KB without you. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And this whole cactus thing has me. Yeah. Short first ballot hell. <laughs> <laughs> first ballot unanimous hell. Nate was like, what? How did you come up with that? <laughs> Creative ass demon. I bet you he's do Satan is doing that now. She's doing that now. Um, <laughs> Satan is a woman to the worst. Yeah. Mussolini's girlfriend's catching cacti yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> doing like an egg toss with cactuses in hell. Please. 
I saw a TikTok the other day of a priest that said he his heart stopped and he went to hell. And uh, he said that they were bumping Rihanna down there. <laughs> a priest said that? <laughs> wait, wait, I think I've seen that too. Yeah, he was saying that he went to hell and then he's like, yeah, they were just bumping Rihanna and I knew I was in a bad place. I was like, that sounds like it kind of fucking rules, dude. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Nice. I wanted to be a priest for a while. Not too late. Yeah, never have I ever. Man of the frock. Yeah. I remember we were in, I don't know if our teacher was lying to us, but we we're doing a tour of the church. And she was like, if you sit in that seat, that means you have to become a priest, which isn't true. And I plopped yeah. right down. Oh. It was comfy. Mm. So, then why, so then what? You just They just didn't hold up on that? Yeah, they didn't make me. Damn, dude. It's not like enlisting. They weren't about yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, w- I wish that there was like buds for priests. <laughs> so how does that Catholic shit work? Priests can't fuck? Priests, no. well, they, oh, they well, do. Well, they do. They certainly do. With little boys. <laughs> That's right, Sass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they can't, and uh, and uh, that probably could change a lot of it if they just let them do that. A priest yes. can't have kids. No, no. no. Women you want can't your be priest priests. to have kids. But I think th- I think a big part of it is priests are gay, and they're so Catholic, they're afraid to be gay. They become a priest, so they have the loophole. Easy beard. Not to fuck. The beard of yeah, the that's Lord. A, actually, that's one hundred percent what it is. Mm. Huh. Lie. Sucks. To talk back to my parents. Oh, if you've Pink had thoughts. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you sure you haven't beat off my child? <laughs> uh, impure thoughts. I talked back yeah. to my parents. <laughs> that was all the three. Lied. lied. Yeah. yeah. I lied, talked back to my parents, and had impure thoughts. That yeah. was. The, I, I, I ran those three back. I, I feel like I got in a fight with my sister. Yeah. Yeah, I got in a fight with my brother was a big yeah. one that I would use. Because you're afraid to even tell them the r- anything because, yeah. They wouldn't let that us even go to the crazy. screen. You had to go face to face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with this guy that like we, guilted you. They were like, "That's you see at spaghetti you dinners yeah. on a regular basis." Like I know what you yep. think. <laughs> I know what you're thinking about. Is a is a wet dream out of bounds? Yeah, yeah. In that seems fucked up. Well, there's a there's a line in the Bible like it's better to have your seed in a in a purchased whore than on the ground, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Remember what, they taught us it. That guys only wanted to have, like, guys only loved us. Like, they called it, it was the, they had brought in a speaker, and the subject was chimichanga love. And it was like, boys only love you, like, they love a chimichanga. And like Taco Bell. And so, huh. if you if they have sex with you, it's only because they're looking at you like you're like a chimichanga. That's why Clemmer doesn't <laughs> love the beaches. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still think about chimichanga love. Still. He told you that in church? It, yeah. Yeah, it's Sunday school. I had to go to Sunday school every Sunday of my Who life. Who here knows what a chimichanga is? <laughs> yeah, 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 it was. Such a weird, like, comparison. Yeah. Did you guys have to go to the summer church camps? No. Thank since, God. Oh, my God. We went to a Catholic school, so we didn't have to. Yeah. Oh, I did. And it would be the, like, oh, God, and all the, the teens would all be crying and, like, whatever. And then afterwards, after one of the camps, the counselors befriended some of the teen girls in my group and we're like, hey, we're coming up from North Carolina. We got a hotel this weekend. You want to come have some like Zimas or like whatever the oh drink was God. at the time? Uh, and I was so mad at my parents that they wouldn't let me go. I was like, you guys suck. And that in hindsight, not mad about it now. Yeah. But, I am. Yeah. Dude, we just got a we're... fresh case of chimichanga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just come chill. Just come up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make love. <laughs> Like, it didn't seem weird at the time. It was like, these cool guys are coming. They have the seashell necklaces. A, a Catholic school? No, I went to public school, but so I had to do Sunday school and, like, church camps every Did Sunday. Did you go to a Catholic school? No. Interesting. I did. I went to a Catholic school. High did? School. Yeah. But you're not Catholic? No. So you were in there frauded. Did you, did you guys ever have the, the cool, like, born-again virgin speakers? Yes. So they're, they they were just for thirty minutes. They would just flex about how much they used to fuck. Yeah, they used to fuck. So <laughs> how now they're better yeah, now. Yeah. Guys, yeah. it was felt so fucking good. It felt so good. Yeah. Would only I do was, it. I was doing it so much girl. when I was at my worst. When I was at rock bottom, I was fucking almost every day. <laughs> now, yeah. now I'm holding out. Yeah, and I'm so much clear, mi- more clear minded. I have cool jeans now. Oh. And a V-neck. Yeah. <laughs> Before? Yeah, they were, yeah, always V-necks. Always V-necks, dude. But never deep. It was like a yeah. shallow V. Oh, shallow V, <laughs> shallow V. And then like they had like that bracelet that's like kind of bead, beaded bracelet. A lot of beaded. Mm. The shell oh, yeah. necklaces yeah. were huge. Yes. And they would flirt with yeah. the girls afterwards. Oh, yeah, and they'd probably fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they flirt with the girls after, and like, man, you caught me five years ago. It would have been fucking curtains. <laughs> What's I young life? Had you fucking yeah. scream. Young life is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they would have called National Guard. You're so lucky. Flood I'm born again. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be up against the wall right now, <laughs> feeling things you've never fucking. Yeah. Heard. <laughs> yeah, that's essentially what they were doing. Uh, You're so lucky. Uh, we would have had to build another ark for that. You're exactly my type. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, 40 Hail Marys. Yeah. Yeah, 40 Hail Marys. Oh. Yeah. Spit these bars from God. Yeah. The Old Testament is fucking dope. Do you think whoever ghost wrote, because obviously God wrote the Hail Mary, but I think whoever like ghost wrote it feel, felt pretty good about themselves? For right. sure. Like, oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I, I'd be much more into heaven if you got to meet God's ghost writer. Yeah, like if you found out who was behind the bars. Yeah. Quentin Miller. Yeah, like Quentin Miller. You see, the oldest known Old Testament that still exists is on sale at like Sotheby's this week and it's going for like $50 million or something. That's a grail, dude. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good price. Sense. It should be more. That's a pretty good price. But it's like 1,100 years old or something like that. What's the Shroud of Turin up to? Oh yeah. man, yeah, he's been chilling. I think it's in lock and key still. What's the one with Mary's face on it? Is that it? That's it. That, oh, it has yeah. it has Jesus's face on it. Yeah, Mary Magdalene oh, the wiped blood, yeah. his face. Yeah, yeah. Um, not related at all. I got to tell a Rudy story from the Super Bowl house. Oh God, what? Rudy goes up to Dave. <laughs> Fuck. No, this is bad. in the house, and Rudy gave him a t-shirt, t-shirt, sweatshirt, t-shirt, no, t-shirt. He's like, Happy Hanukkah. And Dave thought he was joking, but it was. Rudy bought it for him for Hanukkah. Yeah, it was a little late. It was very, very <laughs> awkward. Dave was like, Hanukkah? And he thought like Rudy was making a joke to him, I think. No. Yeah. And I was like, no, nah, just the guy took forever to send it. I always get Dave. Just don't say happy Hanukkah. Yeah. Well, what was it? It was a Larry Bird like vintage t-shirt. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. I just oh, he him. wore that, right? He did. Yeah. yeah. He did wear it, which made me feel a lot better about myself. But I was standing right there, and I said, mm. Yeah, Nick, I wish Nick wasn't in the airspace, but yeah, he was wincing in the background. And then I like awkwardly like just paced around the like island and pretending I had something else to do. <laughs> it was not a clean landing. That house was weird as far as like you just c kind of milled about. There was like no nowhere to like. Couldn't be comfy. Yeah, you couldn't just like have a conversation with your bros or something like that. I went to the basement a lot. No one was no one was in the Two. basement. The basement was nice, dude. It did smell like baby diapers, though. Oh. oh, other than that, though. Yeah, other than that. Well, they had a playpen next to the couch. The whole, like, huh. setup of that house was bizarre. Yeah. It was no zoning. Sass would have loved it, probably. But <laughs> yeah. There was a pool table. It didn't play I enough. Saw. It looked like you guys were using it as, like, a storage yeah. unit. That's yeah. where we put our batteries. There was an incredible pool table, and, and nobody nobody played on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, didn't play, we didn't play volleyball? We did not play bo volleyball. There was a beach volleyball court out there. It was no. there was Gillis, Norman, Kreischer. They were looking for a fourth for pool, and we were like, "Nah, man, we don't have anybody here that would do that with you." <laughs> <laughs> sorry, dude. Sorry, boys. Yeah. Francis was here. He, yeah, he, he, Francis. Uh, <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, pickleball just took over. Yeah, that was the that was the jam. Yeah. I, I I enjoyed that. Is this room big enough if you took the chairs out that it could be a pickleball court or no? No. Oh. Okay. A pickle squash, maybe like a little oh. pickle off the wall. I think this room would be mini. one one side. One side of a pickleball court. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, if we get more glass, we could make this into racquetball or squash. I went to the racquetball world championships. They held it at Grand Central. Uh yeah. did you see Sudsy? You saw Sudsy there. Oh, I'd probably, imagine. I guess. Sudsy Monchek. I don't know. But it was like super intense and the fans were really into it. Yeah. It was like a whole scene. A lot of Latinas. Yes. La Latina yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lugging that thing around. But it's yeah. like incre like it's like super impressive. But you went to the where was it? Yeah, I bought tickets to I it was in Grand Central and I was single living in Queens. I saw it and I was like, I wanna see what that's all about. So I went. It was really cool. <laughs> made good videos. There was like you you made yeah. videos from that. Oh you did. Did I? I probably just did. Like social, you like, uh, yeah, yeah. I did I think I blogged it. I think I went and was like yeah, back when I used to do stuff. There's a lot of cool ass shit to do in New York. There's a t I always think like nobody does New York content here. I know. Really? Maybe I'll start doing true. New York content. Just stop traveling. I wanted Probably to do the start. dive bar thing, but I feel like that's already been done. Who gives a fuck if things have already been that's done? We're constantly flying to other cities. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything. There's so <laughs> much right here. And it's like yeah, we yeah, no one covers well, New York I, shit. I Our stool versus America could been could have been on this street. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> It could have been. I wrote down the convention center 
like all the crazy conventions that go through because I used to work at the Philly Convention Center and like I worked a proctology convention of all butt doctors once like the craziest shit comes through and like anybody really can go to these things so I was like what if I started covering the convention center beat um there's a dog like a br- like world of breeds show coming up with all dogs and those people are nuts that was last week I went oh it was did you go yeah, you got to pet every dog breed oh that's great mm-hmm. see I missed it what was the, the best to pet Akita ah oh, very soft Nice. What's a Kita? That's uh, like a snow dog. Big, big. They're vicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went to the Westminster like, two years ago Kita. or something like that, and it's those people are. Uh, I mean, what's, what's good? Very intense. I was just, KB, KB was looking at it. Please, guys, I'm. Yeah, guys, I've been just I'm picking smashing. at this. We're smashing. Yeah, we're eating. Smashing. I'm afraid if I I'm take solo my braces smashing. out, no one's yeah, gonna touch the knock. I'm, I'm squeezing the last little no, bit. No, Kate, pl- Kate, please. Out of my zen. I know. I don't want. <laughs> I'm waiting for this. I see that Akita again. I enjoyed that. There he is. Oh, look at him. Mm-hmm. Young Thug has an They're Akita. big. Wait, you really went, Nick? Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> he looks like a blanket. Well, Maresh. Yeah, it's a nice looking dog. I went to Comic-Con there at uh, the convention center. It was dope. Yeah. So you went and you didn't make any content? I'm allowed to do things. Should I tell Dave that? I don't think Dave will like that. Hmm. Chill, chill. Did you have your phone with you? Because you can make anything. No. If you just have your phone, you can... The like, phone is the most voice. powerful fucking tool that we have. It's true. Remember when Rig said that in the middle of the company meeting? I got something to say. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Phone, the phone is the most powerful fucking weapon in our toolbox. Yeah. And everyone in the Jesus crowd. Jesus Christ, dude. Everyone in the crowd <laughs> celebrated like it was like a window yeah. dunk. Everyone was like, fuck yes. <laughs> We're holding each other back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I just was like looking at mine. Yeah. Holy shit, he's right. <sighs> And he is right. Uh, Fasoli's like, he's got fake AirPods, dude. Yeah. yeah. That man's got whack Apple products. Um, should we spin the wheel really quick? We should yeah. spin the wheel really quick. We have one more ad. Oh. Too. We got three today, but I already threw my well, paper. Yeah. All right, Ron, I'm going to try the gnocchi now that my Zen is done. You haven't made an airplane yet. Let's go. Try the gnocchi. Oh, shit. Just spin it. Wait, are we spinning or doing the ad first? I was spinning. We'll probably just spin. Okay. Well, then we'll then we're gonna do the ad. Uh, dry. Not dry. Do the ad. You know what's? Not hey, you have some yoki. I'll I'll do this ad. Okay, thank you. I was like, you know what's not dry? You know what's really <laughs> wet? The game time app. The game time app. No. Okay. The exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Created by fans for fans, Game Time is the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score deals on last minute tickets. It's impossible. It is possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats that you thought you could never buy. I've used it for all kinds of stuff. I've used it for games, football games, but that's done now. So now I'm using it for basketball games. And you can too, believe it or not. The purchase process takes two taps, 10 seconds. You buy your tickets. They're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with your friends via text so you can get to the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle. Enjoy the moment. Download Game Time or go to the website. Enter your email and redeem code YAK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Game Time. It's always Game Time on the Game Time app. Yep. What are you guys going to do now that football's over? Nothing. Watch I it. might go house hunting in Chicago this weekend. You might? Might. I haven't decided. I Well, just found out yesterday we have a four-day weekend. What area are you I looking know. at? So there's a line from, like, Naperville up to, like, Crystal Lake. Oh, you would love Buffalo oh. Grove. Really? Yes. Or Long Grove. Isn't Buffalo Grove, like, really nice? How many groves are there? Uh, there's a decent amount, but those are the main grows. I think you should be. Lo- you can get some good ass land out there. Have a little spread, some horses. So I, I, the one house I've zeroed in on is uh, an hour and a half out of the city. Okay, Where that's is it? bad. It's uh, North it's town. northwest. Um, in a very small town that I can't even remember right now, but it's uh. Little Met. Uh, no, it's not Cicero? that far out. Not that far out. Cicero? Ringwood. Oh, Ringwood. Mm. But anyway, uh, I, I've I've looked at that and it's it's a long way out. But I kind of want the. Can I see the house. I won't dox it. I kind of want the property. Can I see the house. Roan's gonna buy it. Roan's gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to say. <laughs> I don't want to say now because he's on it. I'm sorry. Did I buy your house? <laughs> already going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to hell, Roan. It's okay. 
you'd weasel your way out of it. <laughs> yeah. Didn't go to hell. Didn't go to Iran. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, I forgot all about that. Hand it. There's Noki's fire. Let me see. Damn. Just rely, hey, uh, don't, don't flip the camera. Thing. Don't make it a thing. I mean, no, flip, thing. flip the front. <laughs> whoa, 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 girl. Oh, no. oh, whoa. Oh, no. Shit. Damn. You guys have a <laughs> fucking Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Because <laughs> that'll, that'll give it away. Wait, there's something that would give it away? Yeah, and I know what it is now. What could it be? Sass, Sass made enough sound. Did I? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm sure you could say it. it looks like yeah. This is something that only that house would have? Sass, I have no idea what you were about to say. I uh, know. Not... Uh, it would give it away. Like I don't a, think it would like give it away. a skate park? Or yeah, something like that. More something or less like that. common. Something like that. Brandon, you want to say it? I don't know what he was about to say. I, and what does I don't, the property have? Swimming pool. What does it have next to the swimming pool? A waterfall? Oh, uh, but uh, a water slide. Oh, a But slide? that's pretty common with these pools out there I've seen. Brandon's living in the blank check house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, water slides are actually pretty common. <laughs> the way those chairs yeah. are built. Everyone's got a water slide these oh, days. Oh, this? Sexual yeah. encounter was with the Do you guys like those the kids with the water slides? No. Those were never good oh. water slides. No, no they're always was a rickety. pretty shitty one, honestly. Yeah. Shitty. Yeah. I feel like the system that made the water go down, it was always broken, so you always yeah. were like, screw yeah. 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 No, yeah, residential water slides just don't do it. You need commercial grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go see this one. Schlitterbahn. But the water slide where the mini golf was at? What was it? What was it from? What movie? It was. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah, it was. Man. That looked like an elite water slide. I wanted what, to go uh, to that water they, park so bad. God damn it! What they call it on the show? On the, I haven't been to a water Waterloo. No, a Waterloo, right? Because that's where Napoleon went. Mm -hmm. I used to go to Water Country growing up, in New Hampshire. I went to Fun Country. Oh, water Wood country, Pierre. water country, water that's country. Some, that's fun. The theme song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if it's still open. It might be closed. Ours was called the Slip and Dip. <laughs> the Water Whiz, too. That's not a good Damn. name. No. That's just piss. The one wasn't as good as Water Country, though. It was way smaller. Water Country, Water Country. Let's, let's all have, have some, some fun. fun. No, no, there's no all in there. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Some of us have fun. Yeah. It's yeah. got to still be open. We had oh, water. I think it was like the biggest water park in New England. So the, out of like three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a water if you go to if you move to Highland Park, the Deerfield area, there's a really nice water park over there. I'm gonna move somewhere. Oh yeah, it's still open. Where are you where, where you're not going? I don't know why I was about to Waterworld is what we had. Waterworld was lit. They had a wave pool there that was maybe one of the most dangerous places in the world. All wave pools are. We had Sandcastle next to us and it was more there was more bandages than yeah. water in Wave the pool. pools are, are insane. They're nuts. Well, remember I feel like back in the day too, all the wave pools had like spackle on the ground instead of and it would like tear up your feet and yeah your oh yeah it was, it, like it, was like the, it was almost like the popcorn ceilings, yeah but yes. on the yeah. ground it was supposed of to the keep pain. you from like slipping yeah. but instead at the end of the day your feet and i remember all my speedos would be like see-through by the end of the day from like your feet get yeah. fucking obliterated be fried oreos yeah. floating around oh yeah people get really feral at water parks i feel like they just yeah. like let the worst of themselves water parks are not or they're not that they're simulations of not like natural disasters yeah i mean <laughs> really? that like like when you when you're waiting in line and you're soaking wet and you're freezing yeah, yeah. and you just gotta know. wait on like the hard metal ladders god yeah. forbid you have to poop yeah. Oh, I always oh. had to shit at water parks. It's always a what? loud shit when you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your I don't know if it's just your, your, your wet cheeks, man. Yeah. Shit loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's always, like, really loud. <laughs> you, are, you are right, though. They would simulate, like, natural disasters. The wave, yeah. pool, the wave pool at Waterworld, they changed it because it was so dangerous. They used to have every 15 minutes a legitimate seven-foot wave come through. <laughs> and there would be, like, hundreds of people in there, and about half of them would would rent tubes and if you had an inner tube you could ride it mm -hmm. so then there would just be an army of people that didn't have inner tubes that you would just mow down yeah just <laughs> latching on it was just like pulling people under yeah, yeah. survive yeah it was <laughs> clawing people and when the wave would come you would hear from across the park just screams yeah yeah <laughs> it was insane yeah that was the uh, alarm. That was a good ass. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was that was that. What was that? That was me. Yeah, that's uh -huh. exactly how it's. Police Academy ass, Nick. <laughs> we even nailed the part where it starts off slow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm there. <laughs> that yeah. was sick. Sound effects. Thanks, man.
Oh, man, I do like water parks. I mean, when we go to the American Dream Mall, that's part of it. If there wasn't lines, it would make it so much the better. Coolest place ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we can weasel our way into that over there. You ever go to the one in Rio ourselves? Grande down the shore? I've been to Wildwood Pier. I've been to those water parks. Isn't that what yeah. it, it's, but it's actually in Rio Grande, I think. Uh, is that what they call it? Or I, I don't know, but it's, like, it's Wildwood, something Wildwood. Oh, is it on the pier? Yeah. Okay, then I'm thinking of a different one. A lot of band-aids. Or, Those super yeah. steep slides that suck your bathing suit yeah. right up your ass. Holding beach pails filled with the worst soft serve ice cream. Yes. Turkey leg. <laughs> yep. Yep. Ah. Anybody want to go to middle, medieval times this weekend with me? I live right next to it. I would totally go. Let's do it. Okay. What no is kids it? allowed? No kids allowed. That's fine. Joey Langone's going. We're going to make What? It oh, no Sunday. way. Yeah. Joey Langone is the red knight there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah. Gave me a rose last time. All the knights went on strike. They formed a union, the first ever union of like knights. I follow them on. Wasn't Instagram. the first ever union. Of <laughs> That's knights. true, yeah. but this bitch forgot about the round okay. table. <laughs> I, I about Galahad. It's <laughs> embarrassing. That's on uh, me. Oh. Uh, Maybe the they're sec. back at it. <laughs> they're back at it. Kate, I don't know I why I could see you uh, have dated a knight from medieval times. I would probably totally would. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I Can would I ask be you totally down. Rudy? I'll get a quad. Even the listeners, come. Yeah, come to Medieval Times. Sell it out. I don't know what it is. <laughs> You've never been to what? Medieval Times? No. Renaissance Fair? No. It's like a restaurant, but in the middle they joust. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. You think the knights are, like, cocky about it? Yes. yes I follow them. <laughs> you follow And I follow a bunch of the knights from Medieval Times, and that's, yes. Some of those tonight. Out, okay. Some of them come out like Ray Lewis used to, like smoke machines. Spitting into the yeah. air, spitting yeah. mead. Yeah, <laughs> the they always like creepily give a rose to like we went on for school trips. Like give a rose to like one of the girls in our class. Oh really? Yeah, it's like they win it for them. My first uh, weekend when I went to Denver, we were like a bunch of the older guys did this like tradition of the Renaissance Fair, and since I was like the new freshman, they're like you're DDing, and I was just so happy to be like included. So I was like, I'm down. I'm I'm good. And they had this whole thing planned where like every time they walk buy a beer stand they have to drink like a full beer and there's beer stands every 20 feet Mm -hmm. and it was like a they like knew a guy that worked there that ran the kegs and it's like this internal like secret menu challenge where it's like you have to go the whole time without missing a single beer and they had a map that they gave you so you would just bounce to every single beer vendor and have a beer at every single one they were obliterated and then you had a dcm dude and boobies are out titties are renaissance oh of course that's renaissance fair is one of the i went to the texas one i know i'm eating some like it was one of the horniest places I've ever been. Yeah, they push up the boobs to the solar system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. They have them sit, sitting up there. Corset or yeah. corsa- corsage? Corset? Corset, I corset, believe. Corset. Yeah, a corset, I believe. A bustier. Yeah. Got the titties out. It's crazy. It was a good era for titty. That was like mm-hmm. crazy technology that they thought of that. Yeah. That's like let polio. Yeah, that is one of the best of all time. Mm-hmm. One of the horniest places you've ever been. You were at a blowjob festival. That is true. That was That's nuts. That was I don't know. I don't know if that would be horny or you're just getting sucked out of obligation. The guy, no, they were in. Jo- were they in visibly pleasured? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They were into it. I take it back. Yeah, they were. <laughs> gotta be horny. Yeah, that's gotta, gotta be that's horny gotta be to go. Yeah. No, that was. World, yeah. Were you pregnant at the time? Yeah. <laughs> like visibly, like very. In hindsight, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not my best. No, is there a Vision. circle, a crowd forming around them in a circle formation, and they're in the middle getting sucked? Yeah, so it's like a Fibonacci they sequence actually, around that. <laughs> that's so unsettling, probably. They actually had like you know, I don't know if you're ever at a won't be an event, and they're like, okay, oldest people get to go in the food line first, whatever, because it was for veterans. So like, all right, if you have a combat action ribbon and you serve more than than however many years, mm-hmm. you're the first to get sucked. Yeah. If you have like, they had this whole system for who got sucked. Chefs don't order. even try. Get to the back. Yeah, yeah. If you're a pogue, if you were in infantry, you're getting sucked last. Well, um, that's great. This is that you you went to this. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, there. What I am. would they? What cup type of facial expression would they put on? Um, that, that, like, guy that guy was actually coming in that moment. <laughs> um, that guy actually? was actually coming. Yeah, the video uh, we could Oh, come on. We couldn't show it, but the video. Yeah. <laughs> he's like actually he's the one getting sucked off right there and he's Being like actually off in, the, in the hurley too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Pat was my cameraman. This guy. <laughs> was like this fucking he's somewhere right now. Does he know that this is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone one of our listeners is one degree away from that Jesus man. Jesus Christ. 
I don't know. I couldn't believe all the women that were in the background of that picture. There was a... Well, here's the thing. There's Mike Busey, the sausage cast guy. I like all the guns in the back. It's, it's You pay to belong to that house. It's like a country club. So guys in the area will pay a certain amount a month to have access to certain special nights there and to events and to... There's like basketball courts and all this stuff there. And then I went to the... In the end, I went into a part of a house that I don't think I was supposed to, to use the bathroom. And it was crammed full of bunk beds and girls. Oh, no. And I was like, are you guys okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Were they? Yeah. They said they're like, yeah, yeah. So I'm sure they're fine. We need to break them out like Mussolini. No, but I yeah. think we need like, to get the fucking commandos in this bitch. Uh, Auto. Uh, Operation Save the Horse. No, oh, this like was just so. in the middle of COVID as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. 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 So you're just yeah. chilling there, and there's just pregnant. There's, right. just, there's just dudes getting sucked off everywhere. Yeah. Um. This was. We took a break. There was boxing there was going on. Now. So Pat and I took a break because I was hungry and I was tired to go eat. And so this whole house was empty while everyone was watching the fighting. So we just sat there eating barbecue while the, all the TVs played like porn. hardcore porn. Yeah, it was just porn on the TV. Oh, yeah. oh no. Was that yeah, okay? there was actual porn oh, on the no. television. You couldn't really see anything. Okay, good. Sorry. I think you I'm, could see butthole. A little bit. <laughs> Not a tiny. A, a one a second. Bit of be anything, <laughs> a one spoke. <laughs> one yeah. spoke. I'm curious. What, what was the like uh, soundtrack like? Um... There was a DJ playing while everyone in the room while everyone was getting sucked off. It was patriotic, like Lee Greenwood. That guy was coming while like the, the proud to be an American was like climaxing oh. at the same time. It was one of the most like people were singing along while they were jerking off because everyone that? was like jerking off waiting for their turn. They're so oh really? Oh yeah, everybody. Why was, were yeah. you there? I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Because I zero plug thirty. It was it was specifically a Veterans Day event. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. she was blowing veterans. So there's just dudes. So you you you're just jerking there, off. Just dudes just jerking off, getting Waiting. blown <laughs> everywhere. And her. So we porn playing on all the. Jenny TVs. Jizz is her name. She still texts. Oh, yeah, she still texts text us, so and she's like, "How's the baby?" Um, and her husband's like Mike the Cum artist or something. Yeah, I remember him. And they every time they're in New York, they're like, "If you need us to pop by on the yak," I'm like, "Oh my goodness, by all means." The cum artist. <laughs> the cum artist. I hope he was uh, getting sucked off or something like that on the side. But no, he loves watching, and so this was his. Um, a little bit too much watching, though. That's a little a lot to watch. Bit too much watching. Yeah, yeah. around the job, like 33, watching. he's got to be like, this is a little much. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. I love my baby. They, like, have kids and grandkids, and they're like, yeah, our kids are fine with it. They don't care at all. And it's like, oh, uh, I bet they do. Yeah, they definitely don't know. Maybe on some level. Yeah, yeah, I bet they, they care. They may not know the gravity of the situation. Right. They're definitely like, we're hosting an event for veterans tonight. <laughs> That's all they get. <laughs> yeah, in hindsight. Why is mom's last name Jizz? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So this yes. free blowjobs me. <laughs> yeah. And in the end, it turned into a free for all because nobody could wait anymore. And so. What do you mean? What do you mean nobody could wait? Anymore? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What does that mean? And Kate, what do you, what, you, you really just tapered off there? Yeah. So everyone yeah, what does free everyone for all fucking? mean? What's a free for all mean, Kate? Yeah, all the dudes what does that mean? Fucking? No, it, everybody just started coming everywhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's got to be the worst Post night. I'm like sweating. Oh, wait, wait but like, Kate, were you like, were you dodging? I was stood up on a counter. I was on the counter with the buffet foods. You took it. You took. I had to get it. It was a buffet. <laughs> oh, no, oh, the barbecue. Man. Yes. It was oh. Carolina style. The white sauce. Yes. There was people getting like sloppy joes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I man. bet. Ugh. Yeah, in hindsight, I don't think about it often. In that situation, you just you go to the buffet, you eat, or you think you just gotta leave right away. So people were like standing there eating like pulled pork sandwiches while this was all like sticky yeah. fingers. Did you or go yeah. on this. And yeah. afterwards, Pat and I were like, we probably stayed in that room too long. Like we didn't need whoever had to go through the footage. Yeah, we were like, we're sorry, that was probably Smitty. He he had experience from his old job. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, we didn't probably have to do all that. That was a little much. Uh, oh my god but just like running out like dodging like loads like it's a fucking bombing yeah. from an enemy force. jumping a rope like it's double yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was and she we interviewed her after and she was like a, like a glazed donut she was oh <laughs> i know she like in good spirits and none of the guys i thought no none of these guys are going to want to talk to me none of them cared they're like yeah i heard about this on the radio today came on over like people like did not care was she checking what do you mean if they were Military? You heard veterans. I think to get into the event, you had to prove to get onto the compound, you had to like show your like, 
Like my ID says veteran on it, so I think you had to like prove uh, it. Roan's trying to test the validity of his. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Roan's gonna just gonna try to pull up with a yeah, limp. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's gonna pull up with a receipt yeah. from Bennigan's. Yeah, exactly. I got fifteen yeah. percent off. Why would they give me the fifteen percent off if I'm not a veteran? Yeah. <laughs> Were they checking as well for like any sort of virus? Nope. It was. <laughs> it was. That's gross. You got to get some. If you're going like last or close to last, you got to have to gotten something. You get something. Yeah, it was everybody gets something. Yeah, yeah. The garbage men have to hate like picking up the trash from that house like the next. Oh day. man, who cleans the floor? Yeah. yeah, who cleans the floor? That dude from the ocean. Though. Yeah, definitely getting. Yeah, it's that guy from yeah. the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All around, full scuba suit, chipping off yeah. fucking glazed jizz. Yeah, he's yeah. praying for high tide. Yeah, you, you take house. a hammer and chisel in the next day. So you just went to an orgy. Yeah. Yep. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> <And> this guy. <laughs> 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 They probably yeah. should schedule it when they know a hurricane's coming. This dude has to get resuscitated after every shift. Every single uh, shift. Like, yeah, it could be worse. Yeah. Every now and then he'll t- message me and be like, can you blog me? I did this thing. And the latest one, this was a while ago Is this now. Is the cum artist that will? No, like the guy who owns that house. And he, he got in a helicopter that went over the Hollywood sign and he pooped. <laughs> on the Hollywood sign, I was like, "Yeah, of course I'll that's, blog it." That's actually pretty fucking. Yeah, yeah, it was great. So he just does awesome shit he all the time. He just does great shit all the time. And his compound was what's like, it, "What's his name?" Mike Busey. Uh, shout out to him. He sounds yeah. like a legend. There's musicians like when they first get their start, a lot of musicians go through that. There. That that that's the and, like he's associated with. If you look it up, like I can't think of any other artists right now, but like some rappers and some artists who've gone on to be pretty big, kind of like got their start performing at his. Mm-hmm. Gotta be like Kid Rock or something and stuff like that. Too. Yeah. Very, yes. Ellie, Gold, sure. Ellie Golden got her yeah. start there. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, very interesting guy. Star for sure. Guy. Ellie Golden was the best. She is. I was thinking about her last night. Uh-huh. Huh. He showed her lights those and I was thinking, where'd she go? <laughs> Speaking of Ellie Golding, I think Skrillex has an album coming out. He's been in, in laying in wait for a while. He just announced he's playing MSG on Saturday. Yes. What? Three Tickets minutes. are gone. Oh, no. I would love to go. I would fucking love that. Yeah. Maybe Game Time could hook us up. That would be pretty cool. I didn't realize I listened to that uh, Theo Vaughn with Dave and that they were like one of the first ones of the Blackout Tours to do like techno nights, like techno concerts. And who they said they paid Diplo like $3,000 or something. Like he was like brand new at the time and mm-hmm. they barely had to pay him like anything. Really? And yeah, so like the Blackout Tour was like one of the first. First what? Like what are these like tech, like. I don't EDM, know what you call EDM them. Show? EDM shows, yeah. That's been going on. Yeah, I mean, like, there's like the '90s. But I mean, I yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that also the same as, as how Barstool invented the internet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. okay. You hear this? Okay. We invented raves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's possible. I don't know about that. I, I don't know if we were the first one to do that. <laughs> I may be misunderstood. Maybe in the Northeast. Or, the I don't party. think you misunderstood. I think. Dave just claims yeah, that. He, yeah. <laughs> he just says it as if it's fact. Well, I believe. I was like, oh, wow. And I've been talking. Like, long. music used to be played on instruments until we came around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you've been a very good host. That, yeah, this good has job. been a real yeah. treat. Really enjoyed this. I'm glad. But, oh, Big Cat sent us pictures from the oh. uh, TWA hotel. God, I want to yes. go so bad. And it looked, it looks amazing. And then Quig sent the photo. Yeah. I didn't realize... Because he went to watch the planes and it was so cold when he went that yeah. his entire window to his room was iced over and he couldn't yeah, see. He paid a thousand dollars, couldn't even see the yeah. planes. I would have yeah. complained if I was him. I'm also an absolute heathen. KB, I also got you that bowl bowl jersey, bro. Yeah. Why did I get you that? I think I uh, said I wanted. Birthday. Yeah, thank you. It was for your birthday? Yeah. Ron, you're not a bad guy. No. Um, but you do have to give a hundred dollars to a homeless person and yeah. film it. Okay. Why don't you do it right now? I'll do it today. And film it? Yeah. Can we watch it on the yak? Fuck yeah. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, that is uncomfortable. We were, I was talking with Sass about that yesterday, to having to give $100 to a homeless person and film I might it. accidentally get some drugs. <laughs> You're just like, oh, yeah, here. You can't, no, you can't take drugs. You can't <laughs> take... <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's where that scene was filmed yeah. in Catch Me If You Can, I think. I've seen. That looks familiar. The carpet's different in Catch Me If You Can. But yeah, I think this is just more modeled after older. This is newer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It was sweeter then. That is sweeter. Mm-hmm. That is better than what we have going on right now. 
God, that's fucking dope, dude. Yeah. That yeah, that, that uh, what do they call those like uh, living rooms? Ouches. Maybe he'll make the okay. Chicago office like that. I wouldn't be mad at it. Seventies nice style. CWA seventies style. All right, guys, the vibe we're going for is the Jetsons. <laughs> I would be. Oh my god, yeah. Who's designing the Chicago office? Um, what's his name? The Falling Waters guy's son. I was yeah. just the the. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright's son. Mm-hmm. That's dope because a lot of there's a lot of Frank Lloyd Wright houses in the Chicago area. Mm-hmm. So that'll be cool. Yeah, the, isn't the waterfall one in Minnesota? Oh, it's in Pennsylvania. It's one in yeah. Yeah. I think I thought it was in Minnesota because in one of the old NBA 2K games, if you played for the Timberwolves, the maybe house, there's just another Frank Lloyd Wright out there. Possibly, but the the cut screen for like the Timberwolves was the Frank Lloyd Wright house, and I always as a kid was like, "That's fucking sick." So I just thought it was in Minnesota. Frank Lloyd, Frank Lloyd Wright house. When you go, it's musty. It's, it's a little musty. It's a lot of water. I did a tour of the one in Arizona, Ter- Taliesin West, when I was super hungover once. I didn't realize it was like three hours in the hot sun. And there's like a great swimming pool, but you can't go in it. And it what was a, musty, a lot of yeah. mothball smell. What are the tenets of his architecture style? Uh, you can't move the furniture. It's always in the wall. No, but like what's his style? Oh, it, It's oh. got to blend with the earth. Yeah. It's got to like kind of blend with the landscape. And also, he never paid taxes, I don't think. And also, he had like 50-something cars that were all the same color red that he patented. He patented a color? Yeah, it's like Frank Lloyd Wright. Yeah, not like a, a, like a, a deserty color. red. Red's, Red's a one famous that. color. Yeah. Red's a blue blood when it comes yeah. to colors. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was hung over. Those yeah. are the notes I remember from the tour. I could be way wrong. Wait, can I see the Frank Lloyd Wright red? L- something about him having like 50 different cars and they were all the exact same color. Red. He would have fucked with the hobbits heavy. So yeah. They build that thing right into the earth. There was a specific... I'm trying to go to the Shire next summer. Oh, dude, can I come? No. Where is it? <laughs> ah. <laughs> nah, man, you're not allowed. Fine, it's I'll, in New Zealand. I'll go to Mordor. Fine, man. Where's that? Well, your poisonous gases. Yeah, but I'll look so oh, yeah. much cooler. Like, here's a bunch of his cars. They're all that same. Yeah, that's fucking... How, right. how rich was he when he died? Because he didn't pay taxes... Did he have any of the cars at the Arizona house? I don't remember, but yeah, they're, they're all that like deserty. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Seems like you know exactly what you're talking you know about. Exactly you just described it perfectly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Describe something and then he pulled up pictures of exactly what you were saying. Also, he held like a college there on that. He had like a ton of land and the final thesis was that they each had to build a tiny house. Just he would give them like a section of land and be like, all right, here's a shovel, build a house or like. Some shit like that. They could only use like natural materials, but you could walk around and see like all these old students like Ooh. houses and shit, which was really good. It was cool. It was just like funky and cool. Oh, a dude in the Philippines would have wiped that competition. Yeah. That guy's yeah. fake. <laughs> yeah. Who oh, builds what? like the hot tubs and stuff? He's fake. He's fake. What do you mean? He's fake. How? How? He got busted. He had, he had uh, um, um, like caterpillar tracks. Like front loader tracks shown. That's like when you Bear Grylls. Oh no! Remember when you could see He's the highway in the tools. background? You're thinking of this and, same guy? Yes, the YouTube guy. Yes, he always has high, like, <sighs> pools and moats. It, what he does is still impressive. Oh. Is an entire team of people. Damn. That doesn't bother me. Didn't bother I me mean, with Bear Grylls either. Yeah. yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't. And like he's been like just laying like he pollutes so much of like that forest like he's he doesn't take anything apart or do anything. It just oh, all damn. Wastes away. As long as the hot lumberjack guys still legit he i think he's still legit mm-hmm. that's another blue collar job that i am into lumberjacks oh yeah yep yep cutting wood chopping chopping a tree not sawing it but chopping a tree have you seen the hot lumberjack guy oh he's no. the oh he's, oh, he's the hot everything he does is so intentional he uses an axe oh, he knows what he's doing i don't like even small him. he's like i'm gonna have to rip this one Oh fuck yeah, it's it's fucking tight. Yeah, and then it just it's noted. All the comments are just like, yeah, please fuck me, like, please fuck me. Oh shit! Well, have you seen the like the wood chopping competitions? There's like an Olympics of wood chopping, yeah. and they gotta like chop a rope and then a log and then a thing. And I then... found the goofiest Olympics. It's the Scottish people. They just try to throw poles. Oh, like the big telephone the poles. Flip yeah, telephone poles. Oh, this is the hot lumberjack guy. Oh man, he loves this. Oh. He, he does, it's so. Out here. Oh wait, this guy's making fun of him. I think. Yeah, he's. Oh, hot lumber he gets, lady. He gets clowned a lot. Yeah, he should. He's but like he's corny. It's very intentional of just like. Whoa, that's still. Yeah, cool. We got to get him ripped. That's still cool. We 
got to get him ripping one. Oh, he's a loser. Fuck. Hey, <laughs> oh, that guy's a fucking loser. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, a little rain. Yeah. Bradley Thor. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What's to the left of you, bro? Why are you looking left? Oh, you monster. Getting that nice and dry. Oh. 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 oh, wait a minute. I don't know about this. He's going to get it. Oh, he'll get it. Don't you worry. This is a little embarrassing. No, oh, he's always like this. This is what the girl's going to split probably. That log is shaped like a booty. A lot of good tennis sounds. A lot of gasping. Maybe he was a little ambitious. Yeah, what is this one? I've never seen one like this. <laughs> I think he's saying no matter how big we that thing is, he's going to split it. This dude, it looks like he's doing no progress. Can't stop until he splits it now. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Just drying it off. Oh, so that was for the fellas. Okay. That's for his male fans right there. Ugh, okay. Eating off the wood. This is his entire content, though, and he would go nuts. Oh. Who is filming it? Uh-oh. He's filming this. Go. His wife. Oh, is that for real? Is that what's happening? Uh, he's going to rip with the hands. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Bradley. Um, do you think they have sex immediately after this? They have to. Yeah, that energy's got to go. Oh, he definitely is toxically mean to her. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And is that a job? There has to be a better tool. Right. There's Yeah, oh. there's just... yeah. Is that what he does for a saws. living? What is that? He splits logs. Splits logs. Damn. Rail splitter. That's what they used to call Abraham Lincoln. The old rail splitter. Really? What do they call it when it's split splitting rails. beans? When your balls are on either side of your... What's it called? <laughs> splitting beans, I never heard right? That. I never heard that in my life. I've been in the game for a while. Where'd you hear that? I've been yeah, in the ball game balls my whole yeah. life. Yeah. I was in the ball game for a while. This is before uh, you were born. <laughs> it's just called a division sign. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. guess it would be. Mm -hmm. I heard splitting beans. Where did Brandon go? Yeah, I don't know. It's a great question. Yeah. You don't even attempt to to let us know. No. I thought he was going to get Chick fil A, and then I realized he just ate oh. gnocchi. But he'll probably also. Not there. Well, tomorrow's the last yak of the week Whoa. before a long weekend for everybody. Holy shit. Yeah. Tomorrow's we Thursday? A, yeah. Damn. Oh, we got a surprise it. day off tomorrow. We have off Monday. That's going to be awesome. I know, part of me wants to like go somewhere fun at the last second, but I know. I don't know. Go to Montauk, go to the beach, why not? Yeah. What are you gonna do, Ron? Nothing. Wanna hang out? What is it gonna be warm here? Medieval times. I really would love to go yeah, to medieval I times. Go. If that's a thing. I for sure wanna go. Zoo crew, Jay. If anybody wants to meet us at the zoo. Oh, it's gonna <laughs> be a nice weekend. I love that yeah. zoo. Yeah. I'm probably nice going to the zoo on Sunday if you wanna go. Zoo and medieval times. Is there anything new there? You're just your kid just has it memorized. No, yeah, we just same shit. Or yeah. actually, no, a new amazing Asia exhibit. A, a, amazing what? Amazing, amazing Asia. So what does that include? A red panda and a cloud leopard. Oh, oh nice. yeah. that's favorite. those are some marquee. Cloud leopard's his favorite. Yeah, yeah. the red panda is very present though. When I was there, he was making the noises of every animal we passed pretty well. Yeah. Nice. Smart well, kid. How about those fucking snakes that fell out of the ceiling? Uh, oh, fuck hell that. no. What? Fuck that. The snakes? I, saw that video on I did Reddit not want to see that. The yeah. It. <laughs> what? It's the worst. I want to yeah. see it. It's the it's worst. Viral it's disgusting. All over the. It's not like small snakes. It's like one no, of those like, big thick, snakes. Massive snakes. Is it just Multiple? one snake? It looks like a fucking like tangle of snakes. Of Are they like fighting? Oh, uh, God. I can't even watch. There's his tail. That's enough for me. Yeah. It's, it's just a little snake tail. Does anyone know like the premise of it? They're just. poke. Oh! That's pretty. That's pretty bad. Oh, how are they still there? I, I fuck with snakes a lot more oh. than spiders, though. If those not were me, spiders, oh, me, I, yep. you, those can kill you. Would have blown that house up. Good God. Mm -mm. Kate was not with that. No, I don't like. I'm not. Yeah. Can't spiders are way worse so than snakes times. for me. A room of yeah. 300 really? veterans beating off is cool, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, snakes uh, trying to hide. Snakes. No, uh, not my. Because then you picture them in your. Home. So big. Slithering around. Yeah, that they're not unless you move to Burma, I think you'll be good. Yeah. Well you never know what weird neighbor when you live in an apartment has like the snake that gets loose that uh, 
That's why you got to move to Brandon's new neighborhood. God damn. Yeah. Holy shit balls. Yeah. Ridiculous. I'm also looking and my look is very different than that. <laughs> Mine is looking I'm for looking uh, apartments in New York and it's just. Oh, it's so demoralizing. So bad. Well, yeah. Brandon's moving on to a plantation. Yes. <laughs> like literally. Oh, I get invited to the pool. It looks like there was multiple like sit like wings of the house. I'm hoping that he made a mistake and he's like, yeah, it's like an hour and a half north and then he gets there and it's like, oh, this is Winnipeg. I hope he's in yeah. Gary. Yeah. <laughs> but Gary is in. commutable, right? Yeah, but you, Chicago. You, part of me thought a little bit. I was like, I could live pretty good in Gary. You it's by that? the lake. Why? So Chicago. <laughs> yeah. So it's all of Chicago. Oh, yeah. Like house, yeah, the entire la like uh, lakefront no is idea. just factories. I would like to be in the city, but... Like Chicago's really nice. Yeah, I would like in to be city. in the city. I used to live in Chicago. It was like the most like I ever would have like I ever like walked and like yeah. Like I would on Sunday I would go walk for like five hours every day. Yes, that's what so I so like. nice because it's all right on the water and it's like if you're if you're not in like the loop you're when you're walking on the water you can see the whole skyline of the yeah. city. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Do people actually go in the water there? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been in the water. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh. All up and down the shore. There See, maybe I'll live on the shore. Uh, you should. Chicago shore. I don't know. Most of it is very close to the shore. Yeah, I was yeah. looking. If like, you're like near water. Lincoln yeah. Park. Hmm? Yeah, I have no idea. Very close. And then how soon do you start looking? I don't know. I have no Brandon's idea. Brandon's looking now. So I know he's looking Brandon's now, but buying that's Brandon. House. That's the thing is I've been looking in New York and it's like it doesn't even matter because if I'm not going to move in next week. You have right. to. Yeah. Are gonna be you have to be ready to sign yeah. like that day. Yeah. You can't look ahead. Dude, those videos of like 80 people in line down the block to see an apartment. Yeah. It's crazy. I got to be yeah. more careful this time. Usually I go, I see it, and then I'm like, yeah, I'll sign right now. Because they're like one other person's thinking about signing. And then I yeah. sign, and then I end up hating it for, and I'm there for over a year. Yeah. Should move to Brooklyn, bro. No, nah, I want to stay in Manhattan if I can. BK, dude. BK. You should move right above the fucking cellar, dude. Manifest it. I want to. I want to. I want to stay in like my exact. Yeah, area. where are we? That's the best. Yeah, it's I such think. a nice area. All right, let's wrap it yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah or no? Yeah. yeah. Are you asking me? Seniority, Kate. No, no, no. Let's wrap it up. Here, here we go. go. Let's get oh, out yes. of here. Thanks for yakking with us. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for having me, guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. See you tomorrow.